Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sip? My man roller, he bring a zip. Girls, all my niggas call you guys, fall in line, they ain't got no plans, you can tell them to slide. I'm feast the beast, they told you otherwise, them suckers lie. Can't nobody do it like me, I'm seasoned like checker fries. What's the vibe? You know what it is when we come inside. This weather feeling good, looking nice like the summertime. Let's get together, we call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be sorry you ain't here. Light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red. You got me some good game, yeah, I talk it up in here. This the one, they say they like it, play it back, it got a mic, but I'm excited, never tired. Just I'm Privileged Drinkers, baby. Yo, what's up? We back with another one. Unprivileged Drinkers taste testers for the hood. A suburban safe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the gang is here. We are excited. Um, you know, last time y'all seen us, we was on, um, we was talking about, we was debating some shit. I don't know. I don't forgot what it was by now, but. Fake yeah. media. Fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. It was fake news. Check that out. You hear him? Yeah. He, Yo, he, really, yeah. he holding true to the Trump shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he is. But, um, yeah, you got the gang back, man. We excited to be here. Um, come to y'all. Come talk some more shit as usual, man. It's up. Um, but, you know, we, we, we just like to have fun, man. We like to talk to our folks. And, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of shit to talk about. We got a lot of shit to talk about, I think. Um. Tap into the reviews, you know what I mean? We still doing the drink reviews. That's a thing. You know what I'm saying? We got uh I think what was what we think we did like some butt light seltzers. Um Oh my It was a bunch of Yo, shit. Oh chill. It, was, it really was. Are uh, he ripping? No, he drawing over it. It's a contained <laughs> space. <laughs> think about the other people around you. Be considerate, my nigga. God damn. That's his problem. You said what? That name What's bombs. Uh, <laughs> the fuck? But yeah, so you know, you got the right guy here. You know what I mean? It's your first time tapping in. It's Unprivileged Drinkers. It's Unk Reese, the regular guy. Across from me, you got a little bro. What's up, everybody? Dank, a.k.a. Pooty. Here with the guys. Back here to do another episode. Talk some shit. Fact. And of course, we are going to drink. Yes, sir. Drink! And to the left of me. That's the dirtiest motherfucker alive. I'm back, baby. I mean, we're all back because like it wasn't just like an individual thing. But you get what I'm saying. Here with another one. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but this is the thing speaking. I'm not fucking done. Damn. God damn. He couldn't wait. You, you so fu- like golly, premature peak. <laughs> like relax, my nigga. How long are you gonna peak? talk? How old are you? I, yo, it, uh, that was six seconds in. You talking about how long you gonna talk? <laughs> that's some fucking nerve. And as she said. Wait for the laugh. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> like a wounded, felt like a wounded pup. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. You just fucked that all fucked up. Fucked up your moment. Yeah. I, don't have, I mean, I told y'all it's the captain. I'm not introducing him. <laughs> fuck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, said it's the captain. So you got the audacity to cut me off and then just say the, the shortest shit you can say? Yeah. I'm happy to be here with y'all. I'm very yes. happy to be here. Um, We've been drinking today. I don't know if I can do this. Duh. Yeah, I started rethinking my options. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we co- haven't had any cocaine or, or uh, heroin or crack today. Heroin. Crack. Heroin. I don't do either or none of those. <laughs> none, none of that. Like, you tripping. When? What? what? Like it's, it's funny to talk about coke. It's so, funny, like so, ha 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 ha. Down we down. have had malt liquor though. Like yeah, we have. But like you can't rob a bank with you, can we? God damn. I mean, can we, we can skip, read. Can I'm gonna skip. Can we skip now? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, fast forward. It's time, you know what I mean? If it's your first time tapping in with us, this is what we typically do when we get back together. We do a shot of clock. Grab your glasses, shot glasses. Cups, if you want, uh, I don't know, if you want to sip on something, you want some wine, do whatever it is you need to do. But it's shot o'clock time. Let's get these drinks poured up. I don't know what we're drinking, though. What are yeah, we drinking? I'm, yeah, I'm wondering. That's the Hemi. Right the Hemi? Oh, shit. The Hemi door. I'm not drinking a Hemi. I'm drinking this Ciroc shit over here. Yeah, oh, I'm working tomorrow. Shit. Man. The Hemi. 
Yeah, I'm gonna pass like, me something. Like in a few few hours type shit though. Like, no, we all pat, pat, pat. But this was the problem. Like I, we, we spoke about this a little bit briefly. I think on the uh, slide this over here. I'm drinking this green glass, green green bottle. You're the green goblin. Yeah, that's right. But um, I want to say some of that tomorrow. I want to chill, so I'll take it. I mean, we oh yes, I just not over here yet, right? It's not. No. But if you're the only one drinking, we, it should be enough tomorrow. Right. Yeah, you know me, and I only be needing them heavy ass shots. I just the need something to take a shot. I definitely won't have a heavy shot of the Hemi. I'll tell you that. Mm. The Hemi. That shit is a throwback, like a motherfucker. But um, right. yeah, remember we were. Sh- <laughs> What are you waiting on? I need, to, I need Yo, my shot ready. Slow down. God damn. All right. You're putting the car before the horse. Yeah, gotta do that sometimes. It's about drinks going on. Like, literally never do bed. that. Like, it's the point. But yeah, they, um, we were trying to give them some outside presence, but um, set up wasn't working outside, so we had to come back inside. But we, we, we're, inside. In, in the near future, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? It's getting warm outside. It, you, know, you know what our problem is, though? What's our problem? Ooh, preacher, preacher. Shot. We uh, that's a shot shot. Dirty preacher. We we like decide to do something, and sometimes we don't like think about the logistics all the way. It's, it's, it's like we get to the like today for example, like we set everything up outside, and then we got outside. Oh, oh shit! My bad. It's all good. We set everything up outside, and then it was like. I sat down like, damn, Wi-Fi not working on my phone. Let me turn it off. Didn't think about the Wi-Fi not working for the right. cameras or anything like that. And then when recess, I was like, oh, sh- well, yeah, damn. Right. And we fucked that up. Yeah, that is clear. You know, we we, <laughs> we, we going to do better next time. Now, now we know what we got to do. This shit probably don't work in your yard here. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, um, it's shot o'clock time. Y'all ready? Yes, that, that it is. Uh, shot o'clock. Uh, sip o'clock. That's it. Yeah. Drink up. Drink up. Let's go. Tap, double tap the table for, for the add some respect. Shit. Wow. That, that shit don't make me stuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Honey melon Ciroc for me, folks. Yeah. But, um. Tastes like, um, like pepper. <laughs> So um, you know how we usually do. We we actually tap in. Uh, we talk about how our week went. It's actually been about two weeks since we were last together. Uh, mostly to my doing. Um, I had family over. Um, they had their spring break, um, and then uh, no, no. So the week before, prior to, uh, my son wanted to have his grandmother over, and she brought her grandkids, <laughs> his cousins. But um, you know they were there for the weekend, and then my niece, my nieces, I should say, came um that Monday that they left, and she was there for the week um into uh Easter. So, you know, I was an eventful uh, couple of weeks, but it was good though. You know, what I mean, having family over like that, um, a few of them got to get that real insight into seeing what it's like uh, with Messiah. They now understand what life is like with a real crier. You know what I'm saying? Like a kid that takes no pacifier whatsoever, barely wants to eat, and wants to suck on his mama's tit. So, mm. his life. He's still sucking on titty? Of course. That's, that's his primary source of food. <laughs> He's living the life, ain't oh, he? Shit. <laughs> God damn. Yo, he be ravishing her. He be ripping her shirt off. <laughs> <just like, laughs> <laughs> like, this shit is weird, but you know what I mean? That's just, that, it was cool. Like I said, we was able to get a few things done. We, um, uh, what did we do? I know we took the kids one of the days, like on a, like the Sunday before Easter, to a um, like a little jump thing or whatever. They did that. Um, it's so much. Like you know, I mean, two weeks you could do so much. Uh, I know we went to uh, we went. Uh, my niece said she had never been to Texas Row House. Uh, mm. We took her there. It was a good time. Mm. Never been to Texas Row House. Mm. No, Yana had never been. She said that sounds so. good. Yeah, it was fucking fire. Damn that steak. Good. That steak. I had me like a twenty five ounce um ribeye. Oh my god. They they like a lot of times they don't make it as good as I be wanting it to be, but this time was like one of the best times they've ever made me. I don't think I've ever been to Texas Real House. Really? They still put the peanuts on the floor. You know what's funny? Uh, Winston shelf. asked me the same thing on Sunday and they don't. They don't. And I forgot all about it because a lot I of had, allergies. Uh huh. I mean Damn. 
they they was doing it like maybe four or five years ago, but from the times that I've been to the one where I live at, they've never done it there. Hmm. So I don't know if it's just that Do particular they have location. Peanuts? Not that I can see. So you've see never that. been, huh? Not that he can recall. I don't, like, I don't think I've, I've I've been a Longhorn, but Texas Road, I don't think I have. I feel like that's an unprivileged. It's good trip we should do. And I, even I'm, like, I'm with it. I got the, uh, uh, like I said, I get the, the uh, ribeye because you know when you go in, you can pick out your stick if you want. You don't have to do it, but they got the sticks lined up on display so you can pick which one you want. Man, listen, I grabbed me a good one. It was a good, 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 cut. good piece of meat. Good cut. Come on, man. Good cut of meat. Come on. Um, Come on, man. What else? Uh, All right. I'm trying. I'm trying to go through this really quickly. I just can't with this dude. We went to the outlets, grabbed a few things for the upcoming trips that we got going on. Um, saw Super Mario Brothers. That was really fucking good. It was fun. Fun. Fun movie. Really? Um, if you have kids, or if not, if you just like grew up with Mario, you know what I mean. It's, that too. It's a good fucking watch. It's funny. Um, yes, and then on Easter, uh, my wife cooked. My niece helped with a little bit, but we had some lamb, like a lay lamb. Uh, my niece made some potato salad, which is on par with my mom. Surprisingly, I didn't even know she could make it that good. Wife made some pasta salad, um, seafood salad, macaroni and cheese, greens. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Cornbread. Uh, I think that might be it. They had like some, we had some cake and cookies, shit like that. But it, we had a good time. You know what I mean? Like just overall. Spending time with family like that, um, not many people stay that long, obviously. So, you know what I mean? Like, having somebody there for that long, it was fun. And then we made some drinks. I uh, bought some Empress Gin. Mm. I was making all kinds of shit with it. Good I, shit. Oh, man, listen. I might, I surprised myself with some. It's simple, Joe. You know how to give you the little book that come with the bottle. Mm-hmm. You take that, Joe, man. I made, like, maybe, like, three or four off of that. And they all was good as shit, so... I mean, you know, I had a good time. I really did. I, I can't lie. The last couple of weeks, I had a good time spending time with family. So that that, that was my last couple of weeks. Damn, that sounds like a good time. It was food, drink, kids. <clears throat> uh, I think the shortest person to go first. Okay. Wow. No, I'm not I'll a, go. I, I appreciate you, I'll man. <laughs> That's out of pocket. I mean, it always is. <laughs> um, he, he was always the line leader. <laughs> I'm privileged drinkers, baby. That's Yo. hilarious. Yo. That's funny as shit. I can't be mad at that. That's funny as shit. He, 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 God damn. He gained a little steam. Yeah, he's oh, getting man. there. That was, it's about that was, time. That was good. That was a good one. Was good. <laughs> Wait, was you always the line? No. I'll, I'll say this. I was, always, I was always near the front of the line because of my name, though. Uh, like, first name oh, starts with a D. Yeah, uh, first name starts with a D. Last forward. name starts with an E. Right. So I was always at the, the top of the line. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, that's, that's, that's hilarious, yo. That's a good um, one. That's a real good one. All right, yeah, so. It's like being in the back, huh? I do. <laughs> that's like, it can be interpreted so many yeah, different I, ways. I know, yeah. I know how I'm interpreting it. Yeah, yeah, right. I, mean, um, I wasn't even going to go there. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, do like a quick review of what I've been doing. Um, we've had spring break. Um, me and Dirt, you know, we work at a school. Um, so I used most of my time, um, chilling with my oldest daughter. Honestly, we've, um, you know, we stayed in the house, watched a couple TV shows, watched TV, watched, um, Sixers play, and we actually went to Sixers game. Me, Cap, Dirt, um, nephew JoJo went with us, and my daughter. My daughter, that was her first Sixers game she went to, and she had a good time. And now she um, she wants to go to a lot more sporting events now because the That's atmosphere awesome. and and everything. And for me, I, it was it was kind of it was cool. It was cool because whenever I brought it up to her, you know, before, when maybe like a year, year or two ago, I always asked if she wanted to go to a Sixers game, and she always was like, "No, I don't care, I'm not into it." But now that she's older, she um, and we had uh, we had tickets, 
and we went. She um she went to the game. Well, we all went to the game and she had she said she had a lot of fun. It was like I said, it was a different atmosphere and she was um she had a great time. So, you know, I did that. Um I definitely went to go see Mario. I took her with me to go see that. I took my niece and my nephew to go see that too and it was definitely fun. Like if you if you uh grew up playing like Mario bro- Brothers and stuff like that, like it's it's definitely one of them joints like it it makes you it makes you laugh. It it brings back the little childhood like that you had when you played Mario and they referenced a lot of the Mario games. Yep. In in this movie, and it was it was cool. And Devin went with us too, and it, it, Devin had a great fucking time. Mm, uh, Mario, Super Mario Master. Yo, <laughs> listen, it, to see Devin the way he was like watching this movie, yo, and like it was it was it was cool. Like Dev had a great time watching this joint. Like I said, I did too. And then seeing you know my nephew and my niece and my daughter watch it, they they had a good time watching it, and. The other thing besides like watching TV and you know things like that went to Supercharged. Uh-huh. Went to Supercharged, uh, the go kart uh, place. Went with uh, brother Cat and his son, uh, celebrating old nephew's birthday. Turned thirteen. That was that was real fun. I can't wait until we all get get together as you know as friends, brothers. And we race each other. That shit was fun. I'm, Extremely fun. I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna win. Uh it's not that it's not as simple as It's not as simple as you think. Win. I I've recently gone go karting. We did pretty fun. No, this ain't the decent. No. You ain't never had a motherfucking go kart that had a burst button on it, dog. This, I did. This is the la- literally the last time I went go karting. <laughs> which which go kart was that? I don't even remember what it was called. Was, name was it Speedway? It wasn't Speedway. It was I don't. I genuinely don't know where I was. It was somewhere in Jersey or Delaware or some shit like that. Oh, well, this was the shit was fun. We had a great fucking time, even though it was just me, um, Tyron, and Cat. It was fun, like, and then it was just like, oh, of course, it was the other people that was in the race with us, but. The shit was so funny, yo. Like the you, kids can race. Yeah. The kids can race, but they have to. Um, they're at a different speed. Oh, okay. They got two different speeds. They got like the pro pro am or something like that. Yeah, he's they had the pro am driving, so he wouldn't do well. Who who are you, who are you talking to? Who are you talking? Pointing the dirt. Oh, oh wow. Um, damn, mm-hmm, that's cool. But yeah, they got the they got the little they got the pro am for like fifteen and older, and then for. 15 and under is like semi pro am or something like okay. that. So, uh, Jojo, Nala, and what was young boy name? Oh, ja, uh, Jamir. Jamir. They, they raced sort of like each other and it was fun. We just had a real good time. They got axe thrown there. We didn't do any of, the, any of that. Shit, we'd have been at midnight. Yeah. Um, arcade, you know, of course, me and Cap got some drinks, got some good food and, um, it was good, man. Was these last couple weeks and was real good, especially that um, spring break week. Real good, real good time, and I'm glad I did it. And I just can't wait till we all get together and we race each other, talk shit and drinking and all that. It's gonna be a great time. Yes. So yeah, that was me. Well, he summed up uh, pretty much my past two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that means, that should, means that you shouldn't, shouldn't have shit to say. You shouldn't have anything to say. You shouldn't oversee your talk limit. Because I did enough of it for you. We don't have a talk limit. We oh. should. You should. We should, honestly. No. Well, he should. No, every like, it, it like should like be for every baseball that they have now with the pitchers. You need that shit. <laughs> so <laughs> need an umpire to tell you to shut the fuck up. As previously stated by uh Pootie himself, uh I was a part of all the festivities. Uh <laughs> Sixers game. Not all. You didn't go to see Mario. Well, except for Mario. I got to take your side to see that. He actually, I, I mentioned Mario. He, like, downplayed it. But, you know, you take him, he'll probably have a blast, too. He, he knows what Mario is. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, of course, that was, like, the big highlight. Uh, Josiah turned 13. I have a 13-year-old now. And with 
13 year old issues and uh, that comes. <laughs> Listen, shit is on now. <laughs> like a pot come. Uh, how would I get him? Oh, hey, I finally got a PS5. He's elated over the top about that. Um, I've been treating him in Madden's for exception the first time he wanted to play 2 o'clock in the morning. He wanted to kick everybody the fuck out uh, last weekend. He couldn't wait till they fucking left. Yeah. He couldn't <laughs> wait till they left. That's very that true. that damn game up. But, uh, yeah. Very true. So, that, that's what's been going on lately as far as my life is concerned. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything else on. If I did drink anything new, I don't think I did. I probably wouldn't remember. Um, work's been work. Um, that's, oh, I do want to, uh, I do want to have a moment of silence. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Josiah's teacher was, uh, uh yeah. murdered, um, a couple of days ago. So I just want to have a little moment of silence for her. Maybe take a shot for Miss King. Uh, may he rest in, in power and peace. Um, I, it was just a tragic, 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 unforeseen event that that, that took place would happen to her. But um, yeah, I just want to have a little moment of silence for her. Um, she was definitely a love teacher. Yeah, she I saw the little love. the videos and shit they did. For yeah. Her. Was, yeah she, it was, she, it was, she, it was, she it was, was that teacher that it was, it was, it was cool that they did the videos. It was also fucked up because it's like, what was she, 33, 34? 35. Yeah, I thought she was like 35. Five. I think they, they, uh, they actually just did last week. Josiah showed me how they all lined up in a letter. Um, well, the letters of her last name was just K, I mean, King, K I N G. Mm-hmm. And uh, Josiah was showing me earlier, he was a part of the letter J. Like, I mean, that. Yeah, it was, it was, I actually cried the other day when her brother got interviewed on Fox, man. I just I couldn't help it. No yeah, no, I, I just I saw that, that shit. I could I couldn't, couldn't I couldn't, I, I couldn't like even when you first sent the 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 link to us saying like you know that was his teacher. It was it was fucked up, and I really couldn't watch that shit because it's like it was senseless and it was just dumb. Like it's right. it one of them moments. Is like like. You think about like like damn man, that's fucked up like this girl she had a lot of shit going on for um this woman I'm sorry this woman she had a lot of things going on for her these these kids they adored her they 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 thought the world of this woman like she I could and it it, 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 it was it was just fucked up so I I really didn't watch the news that day because it was just like we live in a time now where it's, shit is just it's just just fucking stupid now, man. It's just, it yeah. frustrates me, and it's I'm, I hate seeing all the bad shit that goes on in this fucking city. Like, yeah, our hearts go out to our son. He was in the car yes. when it happened. Right. That him too. Yeah, Cleveland Mastery family, and, and those those kids that she didn't told over the past ten years. Um, I'm privileged drinkers. Uh, hearts go out to you. For sure. Family. Yeah, it's Love senseless it. violence, man. It's Philadelphia. I, I, Absolutely. And I always say this, like. Um, I don't know what can be done because I don't, I don't have the answers. I don't, I don't, I don't know if anybody does, but they got to figure out something. You know what I'm saying? Got because to. something like that. So tragic with your son early in the morning before you even take him to school is crazy to me, man. Like it, it's nowhere that's safe. It's nowhere. It's nowhere that's safe. It's no place that you can be that safe. It's nobody that you with that's safe. Like back in a time where it's not to say that it was like a better time, but it was in a sense where it's like, if you with your mom or you got your kids, it's like that's off limits. You it know was, what I'm yep. saying? Yeah. It was a, it was like some type of like code to the shit, like to a degree. Cause we still heard about some fucked up shit. But it's like for that to be a norm for a child to have to deal with that at that age. Like he just turned 13. You know what I'm saying? Like and I know that he's he's experienced loss even prior to that. But like this is someone that you that was your teacher, you know what I mean? That mm-hmm. you're no longer ever going to be able to see again. And it's like <sighs> If you think about it, they, you, you your kids spend more time with, with the teachers they do. throughout a good part Absolutely. of their life, yeah. Then versus being with their family, yeah. Like so, they like whether they're a mother figure, a father figure, a big brother, a there's big sister. There's something to there's them. There's something to them. Right. Some significance. They're helping raise, raise your kid. Yep. 
Literally. And that, and that's the thing. She left and, and for for the outpouring of love that she received, you can tell that she was beloved mm-hmm. in a positive way. You know, wasn't like you know what I'm saying? You didn't see and, and not that you not to say that somebody would come out and say something negative, but it, like to me, the outpouring of love that I saw outweighed anything else. So it's just you know, it's a lot, I, I, and I, like I said, my, my my heart also goes out to you know, I mean, her loved ones and, and her, her family. I mean, she does have a GoFundMe. We should probably repost it. Um, we had it on the page the day that it came out, but we want to probably repost it as well, just to kind of keep people aware that they can donate uh, to that. Um, you know, it's it's so unfortunate though. I I really don't even know what to say about it, but it is it's super unfortunate. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's time for a shot. Absolutely. Yeah, shit, yeah. yeah you just. Yeah. I was in a like a upbeat mood now. My that shit just like um, simmered down. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna recap my week. We're just gonna move on. Yeah. I mean, you can if you like. I I don't want to. You don't want to follow that up. I don't at all. Yeah. I do have something to say. Say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> oh no, it was Jean Claude Van Damme. What movie was that? Man, it was Bloodsport. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Yeah, well, uh, calm down. I'll, I'll well, wait till you uh, use your words. <laughs> Say it. Oh, you talk. Yeah, I think it is Bloodsport when he grabbed him. Uh, he, they, he got uh, some spray in the shower. I, have, I haven't yeah. seen that in years. Yeah, it's Bloodsport. Pro- probably like a teenager type shit. Really? Years. I haven't. No, seen that's, that one my, that's one of my favorite John Claude. Uh, I haven't John seen that in a long fucking movies. time. That and uh, yeah, what's the other one with his twin? Is it Double Impact? Double, Double Impact. Impact. Those Double like my two Impact. favorite. Yeah, joints. Double Impact. Yeah, Double Impact Double was my Impact. shit. Yeah, so I I can watch those. He, like anytime. he was the one that did what? Did the one with uh Dennis Rodman, right? Yes, that was re- not rebound. Um, it was something weird. I think I think that's him. I think Renaissance so. Man. Like no, I would I, I would figure it out. Hey, um. Uh, what I was going to say was, shout out to TJ. We definitely saw him at the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, you you know, say he was on the jumble trying? No. So this uh, is what happened. I mistake that then. No, no, no. Because I didn't, I didn't give you like full context when I said this shit. Right. So as we're walking in line, you said you wanted us to get some footage. Mm. Great idea. The way I was getting footage and the way Dre was getting footage was two different ways. And Dre posted his first, so I didn't think like, oh, we should both post footage or for the same fucking day. Right. So I still have mine, but when I got there, I stayed back. I, I tell back a little bit. Got the Wells Fargo sign. Mm. As I'm walking back to the line, he has a very distinctive voice. Yes, he does. I hear the voice. He was there with his pop too. The, the camera crew is like, you see the camera crew walk past. They're not talking to a soul. They're not talking. They don't say anything. Anybody just standing there. Right. You hear his. I hear his voice. I look at them. I'm like, it's TJ. Before I even <laughs> look to see if he was there, I said, it's TJ. I turn around. As I'm turning around, he's walking past the camera crew, talking to them, doing whatever he's doing. And the one guy said, yo, come back. And he walks back. So the footage I have of TJ is the light coming on, the right. camera pressing record, right. and him talking his shit. Well, stop recording, TJ. Hey, what's up? Dap up. I'm holler at you. It's fucking hilarious. Out of all people in the world, y'all get TJ with fucking camera. Right. I mean, Angry listen. Ted. He, he said he does have this thing. He was there with his pop. You know, his pop is a Celtics fan, so. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, I did not like, know that. They, uh, you know what? After, I'll show you after this. What? Like how they, you know how before the game, like it was, it was on TNT or ESPN that night, right? We were on TNT, yeah. TNT, TNT yeah. so yeah, like how they show like an overview of the arena <laughs> yeah. and the fans walking in. That's how they, that's pretty much what they captured. Right. Yeah. TJ doing that, like, you know, woo-hoo, but he wasn't just, yeah, go yeah. sixes. He had a lot to say. Yeah, I'm sure he did. <laughs> it, it's TJ. It's TJ. It's right. TJ. It's yeah. fucking T. Right. If you, if you been, if you watch us, um, we've did, we've done episodes with them before, like a few different times, but um, if you're a, uh, you listen to, so what is it, W you be on WIP? You be on 97.5. 97.5. Yes, yeah. Fanatic. Right. Yeah, so, the fanatic, yeah. Angry Ted. Angry fucking Ted. That's, uh, that's, that's how you'll know him. He's uh, probably the most passionate sports fan that we know. Um, he is very animated in, in, in the things that he says and does. So don't take anything he says personally. If you do follow him or if you do see him, because you can follow him on. Um, passionate about his four yeah, fours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he love him. So, you know yeah. what I mean? He got him tatted on him. So he, he's definitely a, a pure-hearted <laughs> fan. 
Um, <laughs> so he he embodies the word fan. So let's just say that. Yes, yeah. absolutely. But uh, so, yeah. Speaking of fans, it's Ben Reed's birthday today. It is that is exactly Ben Reed's birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear brother. It's, He's uh, another diehard Philadelphia fan. It's Ben's birthday. Um, uh, who else? Dawny's birthday is today. Okay. Um, I feel like it was somebody else's birthday it just passed, like maybe a day ago. Uh, bra. Bra birthday just passed. Uh, man, there's so many people that just be like coming up, especially since the last time we actually recorded. Uh, Sam Bowie. Um, <laughs> my sister's birthday was April first. Uh, shout out to my sister Shelly. She's like, you know, I mean, she ain't a uh, bartender, bartender, but she does bartend. So she don't be at no bars, but you can go to the house and get a drink. Um, that's a fact. Been in a while. That's a fact, Jack. Um, Great drink. This, yeah. well, I love so Shilla. One day I was in the market, and she was like, "Uh, we bumped into like, oh, oh, who you here with? I'm here by myself. I think." Dink was on vacation, so he let me use his car. Mm. I'm, like, I'm here by myself, getting some shit. Getting some shit. I'm cooking tonight. She was like, "Oh, give me yourself. I'll pay for it." Oh, say less. <laughs> I, I was about to go get some fries. Let me go get. Let me go get that first, <laughs> and then you can pay for it. Go get the fries. Uh, take her home. Drop her off. When she gets out the car, you want a drink? I sure enough do. Right. When right in the house, maybe easily like two or three drinks. Oh, I got this. You could try. Oh, I got this you could try. Double bubble. Tell me how you like this. What? I was lit. <laughs> One thirty and a half. <laughs> Great day. Yeah, I think I, I know who it is. Um, yeah, our CW Spirits family, uh, Lonnie, uh, basic bartender. Yeah. Uh, birthday shout out to her. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Shout out. I know you somewhere drinking. Yeah, it was yesterday. So, uh, yeah, she might be drinking today still. You know what I'm saying? I think her husband's birthday was like a couple days before that, so... Um, you know, it, it, it's a lot of birthdays. Right? You know what I mean? Like, shout out to all April. Yeah, every birthday, everybody who birthday just just passed is upcoming. You know what I mean? Take a shot. We'll take a shot for you. Um, we still got shots that we haven't even taken yet. So let's just do that too. So, I mean, this could even though in a lot of cases, you know what? I'm gonna just say this is a shot for all the birthdays, and this is a shot for uh, Miss King is her name, right? Yes. yes. King, yep. uh, like both are a celebration of life. Yes. So, sure, your name will never die. Never. And happy birthday to all the what? What sign is this? Don't ask me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Happy birthday to all that. Aries coming up. I don't keep April, it March birthday. Yeah, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Happy birthday to y'all. Drink up. You know your sign. You said, "Do I know my sign?" I only know three. Well, I know it, but I don't. I don't really uh, follow the shit. What is it? I'm a cancer, I guess. I know the, yeah. I know mine, the one in front of me, and the one behind me. <laughs> so it's cancer, Leo, which is me, and then it's Virgo. Right. After that, like it's a toss up. Scorpio. That is Nope. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's something that come before Scorpio, but Sad no Sad is after. That's a, uh, <laughs> I, I had I had some choice oh words for God Le, 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 Leotard not Leotard. Leotard. He's the Leotard. <laughs> Oh man, Libra, uh, Libra, Libra, Libra. Is Libra and Dennis? Uh, you know, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I know the one in front of me. I know the one after, after me. me. That's it. I know my dad like Jay, Ray, Boo. That's like crazy. Right. Yeah, I only know my three of them. Josiah, my cousin Aries. Like, oh, I know what, Taurus. It, but it it, it, kill, it fucks me up when like if you sit with a group of people and like. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's like like a, a, a new thing for everybody, and right. it's like, oh, when's your birthdays? And everybody give out their birthday, and it's that one person. Oh, you're a Sagittarius. Oh, you're a Capricorn. That tells me everything I need to know about right, you. Right, no, the right, fucking right. don't. Oh, you're a Leo. Oh, that makes sense. Like, shut shut your dumb ass up. Know me at all? God damn. Stick some From every conversation I've had, I'm like the most like non Leo nigga alive. <laughs> like, it just don't make sense to people. Yeah, but Leo the lion, huh? That's what I'm saying. My wife is a Leo, but I, I don't think she she has any of those traits that they try to say like um, like uh, self centered or or whatever. I don't even know what they are. But it, it's like it's like a super strong sign. Like you're yeah, right, combative. Right. Like you don't take no shit. And like it's like like you don't necessarily take shit. But like I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and argue with anybody. Like I'm right. not gonna sit here yell and cuss at you. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's just certain I'm things. A devoted that, lover. Yeah. But there's some people who really <laughs> subscribe to that <laughs> shit though. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> there's a lot of people who like to, like I think love um, deep and passionate. She's really into it. I, I, we follow her on on Facebook. Um, 
and on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Danielle. He loves deep. She uh, she heavy into that shit, man. Who's like that? Danielle. Yeah, um, oh, around the corner. Yeah. Okay. She heavy into that shit, so you know what I mean. Like I, I don't knock it because I don't know nothing about it for real. I don't really fire. I mean, follow the signs and all the fire this and you know what I mean. And I don't know the signs for real. I really don't. I know. I'm, I know some of them for the most part. I probably can name them, but I don't know where they line up. You don't know where they line up. You don't know, know what they mean. Like you on the same type time or more. The you know, the, <laughs> the only reason I know. I probably can name them. The ones I know is because Dink birthday is in July. Right, okay. He's before me. My cousin's birthday is in July. July, he's before me. Okay. September, Zaire and Tim. They're after me. So I just, I know those three. After that. Oh, well, they early. So they Virgo. So they, that, so it's like right. after that, I'm like, well, I don't know what the fuck is before right. cancer. Like, I have no Gemini, idea. Gemini, right? It's no, no, Gemini. no, 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 Gemini, what is Gemini? Okay. It is. It's Gemini before cancer. Right. It is, because I know they late May, early June. See, but then that's where I get confused at, because then they'd be like, oh, you're a high noon or whatever type shit. Yeah, the moons and yeah, the yeah. sun. But you know, that's, what they, that's why they say uh, Easter comes at different times of the year, because it doesn't go by the day that he died, like, that, that he died. It goes by the, you know, the astrology shit. I don't really know, but that's why they say... Easter isn't a day that you can just know what it comes out because they, they base it off of something astrology wise. I mean, is, is that the same thing with uh, is is that the it when like the last day of uh, Ramadan? I believe so. It's the same thing with that, right? I think so. I think so. It's it had, that that has a lot to do with the moon. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. But yeah, you know that's that. cool. You know. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> so moving on. Like I said, we got a lot to talk about today. We already went thirty minutes in. Damn. Um, ain't talked about shit. I mean, you know, it is yeah, what it we is. Have talked about a lot of. But um, oh. you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of shit been going on. Like I said, the last time we was here, we was talking about uh, the Chalmer shit with uh, LeBron, <laughs> uh, Skip, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, Hater. fucking Jordan, and Zeke. That, Zeke has since been on uh, all the bad. smoke. That was a deep ass sports conversation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zeke's been on all the smoke since then, trying to clear the air from his point of view. Um, even a few people who listened to the podcast commented and was telling me that um, you know we should watch it. I watched clips of it. I haven't watched the whole thing, but I, I always say between those two, it's bad blood on both sides. Both have done something to the other to cause the the rift that they have today. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't feel like it's one sided where. Zeke is all right and Jordan's all wrong and Jordan like you know what I mean I don't see it that way and I know some people do, but you know what it is I, I feel like it's a lot of ego. Of course, it's, oh, it's a lot of ego. Absolutely. Like absolutely, Mike, Mike being Mike being who he is, like the stories you've heard of him, the 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 documentaries, the videos, you movies you've seen about him. He got to chill. He got to chill. Like <laughs> Mike is one of those guys, and he's even said it. He was like. The way I lead is like I'm gonna beat you. I'm I'm gonna fuck you up yeah. until you decide. Until you figure out until like this. Fall in line. Until you figure out like, well, this is what I need to do. And I feel like Isaiah is that alpha, but Mike is on a higher plateau. I mean, because yeah. he's Michael. Because he's Michael Jordan, but Isaiah be on. Uh, Isaiah, I hundred percent believe that Isaiah is on some shit. Like, nigga, I'm Isaiah Thomas. I'm sure he is, but but like when you look at the documentary and then what he said about it after the fact was um, when they asked him to come in to do the last dance, there was a whole lot more that they cut out. So they wanted to paint the narrative like he was this bitter dude as opposed to like, I don't really have a problem with him. He has a problem with me type of thing. So it was just his point of view is like he had another dude there with him and I forget his name. He was like... One of my guys was sitting there, so he saw what happened. They cut out a lot of what I said that was positive to paint the picture of me being like a hater, essentially. And I'm like, I get it because it is his documentary. So also, that's what I feel like. That's what people want to see. Exactly. But see, and that was that was my point the last time we talked. I feel like when it comes to media, they're gonna paint they're gonna paint the picture to be whatever they want it to be. And because it's a Jordan documentary, of course they want to drive that narrative of they're still beefing they don't like one another and they're going you know what i'm saying like they're going to build it up but what he said when he got the call that wasn't the initial conversation the conversation was just you know i mean speak freely but you know he said he didn't have a lot of bad things to say about it but you know it, it is what it is mm. um my my thing is uh one of the things that's a hot topic 
um, and a lot of people were talking about, which I find it to be funny because I don't see how or wh where this is coming from. But a lot of people were discussing this 50 Cent and Lil Wayne versus hmm? KD recently was I think KD was one of them. It was somebody before him. But then it's happening. Oh, it's not happening. Oh. Well, so no, no, I feel no. like, yeah, you was look, it's not happening. It's but it's being discussed like yeah. 50 would win. So no. my, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait. Cause I think you're you're like at a place where I'm kind of like teetering. Do we take out like all the mixtape way? No, we don't. No. But that's what I'm saying. Like you would like, so here, here's what I'm gonna say about that. Flawless. The the locks versus dipset showed you that they can use mixtape shit. Yep. Flawless. But I feel like with Wayne, a lot of the shit you're gonna use it. Well, a lot of shit that he sh should use is like or other people beats the drought. Yeah, like the drought three, did that, the, the, the suffix. But like they use some shit. Wayne like hit, as, but hit for uh, so let, let let's just go to his albums. You, you so so that's but that's what I'm saying. If it's albums, <clears throat> he still wins. I, Wayne wins. Yes. yes. Yeah. But that's what. Oh, I'm no, saying. no, no, no. I think, agree. But think no, I, I but don't think about it this way. They're you. They also using songs that they're featured on too. Yeah. They're not too. just using just their own catalog. They use a song they're featured on. So if I and, use, and, and if and I song, just use my verse and songs they wrote, if he start off with Gator Boo, <laughs> Sue, but I'm I saying, might lose like, my fucking mind. I'm telling you, bro, like that. Fifty had a run, and did. like you know, and I'm not trying to discredit him. Like, and I, I think this is my personal opinion about this shit. I think that people are more afraid of what Fifty would say if they said that he would get washed or mm -hmm. lose in this situation because he's more vocal about it. Right. Mm -hmm. Wayne ain't gonna say shit for right. him. He's like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But if we being honest, Wayne catalog and hits is ridiculous. It, it, it expands way longer Yo. than Fifty's does. Fifty had a Absolutely. short moment and it was cool. It was hot as shit. It was fucking fire. Right. I feel, but there's no comparison to Wayne. I feel like we ha we've had this uh, conversation similar to this. I feel like there's only like it's two people. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna say like oh. it's a handful of people who can go toe to toe. Go not. I'm, I feel like it's a handful of people that's like okay, I can put you on a stage with any one of these guys and y'all can go back and forth. Who with Wayne? So, yeah. So, mm. Wayne, I f well, I got two people. But that's it. I'm gonna say Wayne. <laughs> I mean, well, obviously Wayne. So I'm gonna say Hove. I'm gonna say, and and this is not me picking a winner either. It's just like right. I feel like these would be de decent battles. Hove, uh, Drake. That's it. <laughs> Kanye. I don't even see that one. I'm gonna give you Ross. I feel like I feel like the four of them. And if you want to go into like, if you want to like dig deep. I'll give you also uh Eminem. no future? Fuck, fuck no future. I'm not giving you Eminem against anybody. You said Eminem. But future. So maybe so those four for That's sure. The light skin in you? And then That's that Eminem. Yep, yep. Right. So and then future is the last one. But I feel like those four can go only can go toe to toe with each other. You right. can only put them in that group. Anybody else, they're gonna wash them. You would you put Nikki in it? No? No, not not at all. No. Really? Not at all. Uh, that's interesting. No. Mm -mm. She and Hits. then on, on on top, but on top of that, Nikki is like a. Because if you open it that way, I think Nikki can. But I don't, but honestly, I don't think Nikki catalog big enough. Honestly, really, I don't. She don't put out a lot of music. She put out enough. I don't think she had, uh, compared to them five. Yeah. You just talking about just solely hits. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's what that's what that's what versus is. That's yeah. usually what they you based th off you, of. You, but you, you think about Hove, right? Eight Eight Summer Street. What the number one album? You think about Drake. How many hits though? See, but you got to put out a lot of music to get hits though. But no, listen, this is the, so my 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 only thing with that is Hove don't really have the hits per se. Mm -hmm. We're just fans of his, so right. we can digest his whole catalog and be like, all this shit is fire. But hit wise, mm -hmm. it is a little difficult for him to you know what I'm saying with certain people to match up. We talking about. Hits. hits, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I, 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 I get that. It sort of reminds me of the time when uh, I think Kaz was talking about J. Cole versus Wale. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wale yeah. would win because he got the more hits. Yeah. 
because he does. He's a he has more of that hit factory type of thing that he's he had. And you got to think where he come from. DC. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Slurry, yeah. Wait. How many? Slurry. But wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What'd you call him? J. Cole has got more deep cuts. Yeah. You think it, it, it's yeah, he got some more Nasville type. Yes, he do. How many, many hits yeah. Wale really? He got he got enough. he got more hits than, he got than Cole. You got to think about his MMG years. That extends, and he got that. You know, he still got those mute those songs that. He want to be played in the club. He come from D.C., so that Go-Go's type shit kind of like, you know, creeps up. He got shit. He definitely do. Like Cole is more deep thought, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, intricate thinking shit like, like Jay-Z for real, if you yeah. want to be honest. And Nas, you know what I'm saying? He's more on that level where a, it's like, oh, shit, I did not catch that the third time I heard that shit. In a, in a versus. I mean, the sixth time. In a yeah. versus, Wale would, <laughs> Wale would win. Yeah, I think that. so. I think so. Unless, unless I'm Cole thinking. is one of those ghostwriters that we don't know, and he just be like, starts like, oh, what that's the what hell? it was for uh, Kiss. He Kiss, fuck. Nah, I wasn't that for Kiss. Yeah. No, 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 no. Kiss that was already a win. No, no, no. Kiss versus Fat niggas didn't know he was gonna pull out oh, all well, that extra oh, shit. Well, I forgot about Kiss, that. Kiss was on there twice. Yeah, Kiss yeah, fucked yeah, Fat up. It. Yeah, and, but there was a lot. His DJ fucked so up wait, too. So wait, who did Ross go against? Ross went against uh, two, no, no, chains. two chains. Two chains. Two. two, two. It was two chains. Yep, yeah. which he was against two stupid. Chains. It was chains. Stupid. Raw should have went two against Two chains was a nigga. Like he got some hits, but his shit started like who? Oh. Two chains. Well, no, shit, my fault. Shit started, uh, two chains, my nigga. Though. No, I'm so saying, but I'm saying his shit started not too long ago. For real, for real. Raw shit. I mean, this is Ross is shit. middle school for me. That's when it started. Like well, that's, uh, like, that's like Port oh, Miami. That's like oh three oh four. Yeah, but but you, Port was, Miami was when was playing circle then? In the high school, same time. No, it wasn't. In the high school, after high school, maybe. That's like 08, 09. Mm. Let me see. Let me, let, let, that let, seemed let, like that's how that's. Google it. Yeah, I was saying, that seemed like that's Pull how it. Far. But either way, yeah, um, pull it, I really don't. I really. Oh, <laughs> right, right, right. This motherfucker. Pull it. We got you know. But my only so thing is. 07. And Damn, play Miami seven? was what? Port of Miami. Port of Miami might have I, I been like 05. I feel like 05, 06. Is it? It can't be. The, I thought it was. I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm, Port of Miami I'm had not to like be 05, 06. That's what I was latest. thinking too, but I don't. I, I can't say for certain. 04? I don't know, honestly. I put in Port of Miami in the actual Port of Miami. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, like put, 06. Damn. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. It, but, I, I don't, but I don't feel like. Chains had because he was still titty boy at the time, wasn't he? He was, yes, he was. Circle, it, yes. it took some time was, after that for him to like really break out, right? Because what you call him came out like a couple years after that. Uh, true religion is it true religion? True, yeah, I was yeah, gonna true, say that's when he really like, true that that was the one, right? It was the one. It. But we at least knew who he was. It wasn't like he came out of nowhere. Like even if you look at if you look back, Ross was was slip and slide before the Port of Miami shit. Yeah. So Without he had the beard. A, yeah he had a moment before that too, but nobody knew who he was. So my whole thing is. A lot of these dudes have moments prior to, and they just they fade out, and then they may come back if they're strong lucky, enough to do that. Enough, yeah, lucky you're lucky enough. enough if you want to say that. I just think, me personally, it's it's a no contest. Like Fifty had a moment. It's a little moment. That's he got a few joints here and there. Get rich or die trying. It's fire. Yeah. Oh man, I just listened to it like maybe like Get rich or die a month ago. Fire. Uh, I love the massacre. Rich or die it's okay. I love that too, though. I ain't gonna it's lie. Okay. I love it. Anything else? Curtis Curtis had I get money though. What else? Curtis had get money. I don't know. Yeah, okay. yeah, I know I Curtis had I get money. Cause I get money was my shit, but at, but, at, but that point, there. but at, but by that point I was over fifty. What, what was the, what was the joint he went up? Was that the one he went up against Kanye with? Yeah, Curtis and Kanye. Yeah. Ouch. Against recently, it was uh, Curtis versus graduation. Yep. I I don't mm. know if it's like in his book or something, like, but he yeah, talks about it. Shit. He felt he he was like. He feels like the reason he lost because he didn't really get a push right. from his label, but Hove and all them right. pushed Kanye the way they were supposed to. He was like, I going in, not going into it, but like as the shit was going on, I knew what was going to happen towards the end. Remember, didn't he bring him out on one? He brought it, he brought he, he said he brought Hove out. Like they did exactly what they were supposed to do. Right. My label didn't do that for me. I mean, who was he going? Eminem was going to come out with him, like Eminem, Dr. Dre. Anybody <laughs> want to see Eminem? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but you do makes sense, but you know what I mean. Like, so what do y'all think? I, I, like I said, I, I'm weighing all the way. It's, it's, it's yeah, no, it's no contest. Um, no, no contest. No contest. Yeah, I, I, I think honestly, it's and like you said, it's not the hit for hit. No contest. Okay. Uh, I've been saying it, so no contest. No contest. Ooh, that's a good one. 
That was a good one. Mm. So what you saying? Wash. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not the disrespect. Uh can you shut the fuck up? Don't talk to dirt. Um not to disrespect uh fifty. He he definitely has a good thing with music for his, his that era. But when it comes to him and Wayne, yeah, it's with all the shit that he's done, it's it's no competition for for real. Like Wayne, I'ma say he gonna wash him. Like it's just it's just oh, Wayne. I, 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 Go ahead, no. I'm, like he I'm he can drop out. like Wayne can put any fucking song hit or not. He can just he can wash him, yo. Like it's just <laughs> it, like it's not gonna. It's 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 so uneven. It doesn't make sense. So so I remember Wayne. like the first, not the first time, but like you know, like the Carter Two came out. Mm. It was like oh was, Wayne. Yeah. It was like oh Wayne can rap. That was the one for like, me. That was the, that was the one. But then. What did it for? What really did it for me was when Wishcall came out. We taking over, and somebody came to school and said, "Yeah, Wayne got the best verse." I said, "Hmm, who's on the song? You got Ti, you got Fat Joe, you got all these like you got all these lined up of people, right. and Wayne got the best best verse. I gotta, I got, I gotta see this." Yeah, Wayne runs them niggas, and then he put out his own version on the whole beat. It's like, yo, this nigga is different. Like, that's when his whole yeah, everything his, switched. His whole shit switched. I'm like, God, I feel damn. like it was before that's, that though. That's drought three, Wayne. I feel no, like see, it was I, before that. What was the shit he had? The joint he had with didn't he have a good verse on the? Uh, wasn't he on that verse with with uh, DJ Collin and DJ DJ? Yeah, he was. I feel like it started then. I don't think it did. Cause like for me Like the difference is The way he flowed on the beat Yeah, yeah. Carter 2 was A consistent flow Like I'm rap- I'm I'm rapping to you Like I'm talking I'm having a conversation with you But when he got to the Drought 3 Wayne It was like I'm gonna give you bits and pe- Yeah on, man. I'm gonna give you bits and pieces On the way Like That shit was different I, What uh Man I can't even think of A fucking verse But no it, Listen it, The boy was it, I don't see how we talking. I don't know. I don't see how it's a conversation. It's yeah. Of, it is like it's of not that the magnitude. It's not the disrespect fifty because he got a good that moment. Hey, he was what good. Club bangers, man. But you know the crazy thing about Just Wayne. The source had a fucking list of one hundred top Wayne songs. One hundred. That's why. And at that time, he only had like three albums out. Singles. I mean, like. By himself, because you know, obviously Hot Boys, they probably no, no, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm including Hot Boys. Really? Oh. No, 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 so all right, you know what? Maybe more than three. So his first album, which was by himself, then he had the Hot Boys. No, it was before that. It was another one, like when he was like 13. Oh, all right. he dropped like a solo drone. So yeah. that one. Then you had the Hot Boys album. You had 500 Degrees. Right. I think at that point, then after that was the Carter, Carter. Two. One. Oh, the Carter. Right. So maybe four or five albums. So it was between the Carter and the Carter Two, maybe. So maybe it had to be after the Carter Two, like the Drought Three came out after the Carter Two, right? Yes. So maybe after so five albums in, and back then the albums were like yeah, they were sixteen, seventeen, eighteen songs. You had to live with them joints. If you appreciated them more, mm-hmm. yo, like ninety percent of the songs on this list were like features, freestyles. It's like yo, like it's he fucked this joint up. Like yeah. oh my god, it's he had a fucking time. He man, his run, his run is definitely. Oh, unmet. I don't know. Had a blast. It's different. It's the drought three. Then any 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 like no ceilings, no ceiling. Like then like when he get on like a feature like it's one one particular joint I like. I really like it's uh it's called Break Time with uh Tiger. Like hit like Tiger is Tiger, but <laughs> and they both rap for like two minutes. But when Wayne comes on, it's like, golly, like you really like on a different type of level, like rapping, like and and you also have to think like he started this wave of like niggas constantly putting out music. Yeah, like there wasn't a time where you didn't hear him when he was on his run. Like the the like the most you were getting from music was like. Jay Z, like like I said, eight eight straight summers, you got an album from him, number one album. 
DMX put out two albums in one year, but you didn't get that often. Like you had to sit and listen to an album and live for with three it. or four years until they decided until they decided to drop again. But now it's like you get it every other day. But Wayne, like you did not hear him. Yeah, and he wasn't dropping albums. Like his no. his albums were like four or five years apart for whatever reason it was, but you never didn't hear them. That's because they. But when you look at his album, they're masterpieces, though. Like if you, they are. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Carter Three. I'll be honest with you. It's a masterpiece. Nah, I like I like the Carter Four a lot more than I like the Carter Three. And the reason why that is because a lot of them are like radio cuts, though. Yeah, a lot of people don't like because they heard the song yeah. so much. It's like I can't stand this shit. But Carter Three was definitely. it's a masterpiece. That's how good it is. But but even like my first like not my initial listen, but like when I first started listening to it, it was like I'm trying to force myself to like it. Oh no, I I definitely didn't feel like that. No, like that. I didn't feel like when, you talking Carter about Carter Three. Three? Carter Three, yeah. I didn't feel like I was forcing myself to like it. It 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 came off as with me with me personally when I was listening to it, it was like, oh all right, yeah, it's some Wayne shit, blah 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 blah. But then. You get a little older and you start listening to it more. You start to understand like certain things that they be saying, and just the feel. You get a different feel for it, and it's like, all right, this was more of a radio type. Yeah, he wanted he type it, album. It, it did exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to sell a million records. He did that. Yeah, and it was leaked before that. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of changes to it though. Like uh, La 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 is a completely different song. I hear you, but this shit. I'm looking at the track list now, nigga. This shit stupid. Yeah, I, I'm Stop. sorry. Still, still, oh, sorry. damn. <laughs> no, it was like I said, it was good. If you but come on with the first song is three P. If you come yeah. on with that, I don't know how you forcing yourself to listen to it from that song yeah. alone. Three P is crazy to just start the album off with. <laughs> Now, Mr. Carter, I can understand how if you like it or you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It was a radio hit. Yeah, right. I can get how like, you... It's I a like single. both verses. I like both verses. Well, You like verses. the verses on, on uh, Mr. Carter, mm -hmm. but you don't like the song itself? or It's cool. I mean, right, but that's it, what I'm saying. Like, it it's one of them doing. like, you, you get it. But you know what I like the most, though? Like, uh... Hove pays it forward. Like, yeah. I'm sharing time with my heir. Right. And then Wayne comes right back and say... And I swear to everything, when I leave this earth, you give it right back to Hove. Because right. that's like a Hove line from like years right. before. It's like, damn. They was, they that, was that, good that, that was well put. That was yeah. well put together. Yes, it was. Two good ass verses. And right. And then what's the next one? A Millie. Like, uh, I'm sorry. Radio. You can hate it all you want, but the shit was a banger. It was undeniable. Over a Millie. Wasn't a fan of Got Money. Oh, that's my shit. Comfortable Dr. Carter. Dr. Carter. Hated phone home. Hated phone really? home. Really? Hated phone home. It like, became yo, annoying after yo, a while for first me. First listen, I didn't like phone home. Really? No, first listen, no, I no, thought it was no. cool. I hated phone. I remember I remember the first time I heard it. I was at Shiz's house, and he played the shit. I do not like this. He played and it you again. still today. I, you I hate do not like phone home. I do not. That is surprising. I don't think phone I ever knew that. Home. Do not like shit. tie my hands. Oh, wow. Mrs. Officer. Fire. Let the beat build. Probably the best song on the album. Probably the best song on the album. Mm. Didn't, didn't like Shoot Me Down. Wasn't I like big, Shoot Me Down. Damn. Wasn't a big fan of Lollipop. Well, yeah. I didn't like this version of La La. I liked the one uh, the one that got leaked. Right. The one that got leaked was Fire, in my opinion. I thought that was going to be the one on the album, but it wasn't. So, uh, Pop, I like Lollipop. Again, didn't like this version of Pussy like Monster. <laughs> right. I feel like the original version of Pussy Monster was best, better. Mm -hmm. You ain't got nothing. He had the worst verse on there. I mean, but I agree. He had some heavy hitters, though. That was heavy hitter. You know what? That's what well, I was I about like to say. Nothing after that. Didn't Ross go against Fab? No, Ross no, went Ross, against um, Fab. Went against Fab Kiss. with Kiss. Yeah, Kiss. Oh, all right. Yeah, Kiss destroyed him. Which car went against? Uh, Ross I, went against Two Chains. I don't know why I'm Two seeing. Chains. And Jeezy went against uh, Gucci. Gucci, right, right. I don't know why I'm thinking. Because that's who a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas. I know I was. I wanted Ross to go against uh, Jeezy. Yeah. He was supposed to. Yeah. No, he was a, Ross supposed to go against. I forget, but I no, no. Jeezy was supposed to go against Ross. Ross backed out last minute, and that's when Gucci stepped in. Oh no, Jeezy was supposed to go against Ti. That that's sounds yeah. That sounds more plausible. Ti yeah, yeah, backed that, that, out, and yeah. Gucci stepped in. Right. But see, I, 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 I would enjoy that. I was tuned into that shit because I was like, I don't know if these are gonna kill each other on stage. So <laughs> I was watching and the last song was yeah. like. Uh, 
They shit. Like it was like ah. Yeah. But he but he said he was oh, like yo. So icy. But but Gucci yeah. was like yo. They, I told the first thing I told him like if I'm if I'm coming I'm coming for real. Yeah. He played the song. He talked about killing his homie. Yeah, that, that was wild. I was watching that shit like. Yeah. But versus was a time. Yeah, it was like yo. Shoot, one thing COVID two, did three right. Years? So hold oh, wait. Thing COVID what did you did, say? Right. You said. I know you said Wayne. You ain't you ain't say what you said. <laughs> Wayne versus fifty. Yeah. Wayne. Wayne yeah. No contest. Wayne. Listen, we started this podcast back in uh, May of 2020, the right dead smack into uh, COVID. Um, we were spending time with each other, but more so on FaceTime. You ain't never calling me. Well, well, you don't get have a, an iPhone. Uh, Apple. Android I, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, was, you were in some bomb. of them because you wind up coming into his house. While we happen to be on it, you are, and I got like like video clips and shit of when we was doing it. But um, we started this dead smack in the middle of Fuck the you. pandemic. This is all we do is try. And uh, Fuck. you know, here we are, like almost three years later, still doing it. Um, it was uh, we we always like to pay homage to the people who helped start it because uh, it was Dries's idea. I've always uh, spoke on this on previous uh, episodes where. He called me early in the morning, had this crazy ass idea in my opinion, but I liked it to like, and we already Mr. drink. And Mr. Anger management over here. <laughs> huh? Wanted to fight niggas. <laughs> oh, what? what I do? Think. What I do? So the initial meeting, <laughs> uh, Dries invited us here to Andre's house. Oh, to Andre's man, house. when he brought house. the whiteboard out. He, yeah. brought the way he, he, oh. he, had, he had the whole thing planned out. So Dries thinking was, Dink. Wouldn't put himself out there like that, right? And in all honesty, if you know Dink before the podcast, you would probably think he wouldn't put himself out. There. He's like a real like laid back, calm. Uh, I'm not going to do too much. If you got the shine, you got the shine. I'm fine with that. He's that type of person. Mm-hmm. We're having a meeting. Dink comes in. Hey, what's this? He said, hey, "What's going on here?" <laughs> oh, we're talking about a podcast, and we're drinking. He said, what? "But that was the issue." He said, "What?" Ain't nobody say nothing to me. He came in, stole candy, and dipped. <laughs> I think it was it's Tanisha. Tanisha was with him. Yeah, 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 she was. It was Tanisha and BB. Right. And she was <laughs> the whole issue it was like was. about face. Oh, but then, but then, <laughs> like maybe, and then Dries is saying like, "Yo, I didn't think you would want to do it." That's the only reason I didn't ask right. you. And then, like maybe, I don't even want to say a week later, it was like uh, somebody had missed. somebody missed the episode, and like, yeah. can you replace? Can you, like, can you step in? He was like. Right. Oh, of course. Like he was, he was pissed that day. But after that, it was like, ah, uh, it is what it is. Right. We asked him to re- replace somebody for us, and he was right on point. Right. That's your, yo. He he was mad as shit. Right. I wasn't that mad. Yeah, yeah, was I was a little. I was I was upset. Yes, yes, I was a little were. upset. Yes, you were. But yeah, like I said, this this a little tick. We're going on three years. Yeah, though. I was really, about to say back to the story. Yeah, but no, you gotta really yeah. you gotta really put that in perspective that we've been doing this for three years. There's some people who have. Um, done a lot of episodes within a shorter span of time, but we've done a decent amount in a, I think, a longer span of time to show that how committed we are to doing this shit. Um, and it's important to me, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I like to pay homage to the people who did start out with his, like a um, Dries, because it was originally his idea. It was. I, I can never take that from him because I was never thinking that. Now, Abe did have the idea too. Remember, we was at my house, we did some shit one time. A- two. A- Abe was talking about. A podcast in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drees came with like uh, a format, a form eight. Uh, he said, "Yo, and, we, and people man, to put in place." We drink all day. Yeah. Why not have a podcast about drinking? Right. Abe just want to do like, yo, let's, let's just talk record, about let, current let, events. Let's just record what we talk about. Remember, we because we was we did it at my house one time. We was talking about like R. Kelly or some shit like that. Then and then Pop oh, Piper, yeah. <laughs> he's telling us, and Abe got mad. It was the weirdest shit ever. He had us wait. Like we had to wait, cause he was late. He was late or some shit like that, and we had to wait on him when we were at your house. Mm. And then after that, he was like, uh, "Oh, y'all niggas should be ready by the time I get there." Nigga, you got all the equipment. The fuck you right. mean we should right. be ready? Right. And we didn't record after that. Right. Crazy so times. drive all the way up northeast. Crazy times. Yeah. So, cause and he, you know, he. he the, if anybody know that's that's DJ Chops, is Abe Champagne. We call him all kinds of shit. They call him. I, I don't know. We call him Free Willy. We call him all kinds of shit. <laughs> 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 but, 
But Clump. he he he's the uh, <laughs> he's the audio engineer type of guy. Like he understands um, a lot of how this shit worked out. Um, even last year, we tr- we tried our hand at the radio shit. It, it was you know it was fun while it lasted. That's what I'll say. It, we 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 tried it, and um, it didn't work out to our favor because trying to do both things and and just get a lot of things. But we, a lot good a lot of good came of it. Let me just say that because. Um, uh, Drees and Shell came up with a good ass show. Yes, they still do gas. Um, mm-hmm. they still do gas. <laughs> um, y- yes, I know Shell did just move to like close to Miami. Oh, bro. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's Miami, but it's close to Miami. He, like he can see the beach from where he lives at. I think, or hey. he can see somewhere. Congrats. Right. Yeah. So shout out to him. Um, can't wait to visit. I think Mookie is talking about. Starting up her uh, Instagram thing again, uh, talking about relationships and j- just in general. Got a story to tell. Yes, got a story to tell. Thank you. Thank you. I got I a could, story to tell. I got a story to tell, so you can follow her Instagram That's page. That's the name of. I know, but tell. tell. <laughs> Continue. Um, that came of it. Uh, what am I missing here? Well, what's the topic? I feel like it was before that. Before uh, Mookie. Before, like, before we did the Shout radio out thing. To what's the top? Oh, it was. Yeah, yeah I, I want to say that it was. But I know they were recording live episodes too, because I know I did a few of them with them um, at, di- at different times. But you, like I said, like th- this whole era, I'm only, I'm only bringing this up because when I look today and see how many people start podcasts and how many people are in this field of trying to figure out their voices. It's exciting to me because we don't know where it's going to go. We don't know where it's headed. To me, I liken it to like or compare it to like the music industry where there was a time where you didn't hear like hip hop songs being played in like movies or or being like uh, um, like, you know, previews for like movies. And when some shit come on, when you hear Jay-Z and Kanye, like these kids probably today think that it's normal, whereas they had to fight to get to these points and these places. Whereas though I think podcast is headed in a direction where we don't know where it'll land, you know what I'm saying? So the consistency of what we 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 do this at is remarkable because it's been three years. It. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, man. You know, it's so many people who start and stop these joints, and some of the trailblazers. Even if you want to be honest, like you know, what I mean, like a Joe Buttons. You know, what I mean. Um, Nori and up with drink champs. Tax Tone. Tax Tone is probably the godfather. Because that's the first one I think I ever even knew. Because I, I was confused. Like, what the fuck is a podcast? Is, mm-hmm. is it free, huh? Yeah. I, I, but free, I, I don't know, man. Like, that's weird. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a, it is that's like an awkward. Like, it is. Like, yeah. You was on some shit, but they was on some shit too. Right. It's somebody <laughs> had to lose. So. See, see, I, I swear to everything when I lead this earth. You talking about listening <laughs> to podcasts <laughs> in general? Like just well, yeah, so the God like, God more are. like hip hop type of shit. Though. Oh, I like, thought you were talking about like I'm about to say, I've been listening to like pop, like a lot of different. Hold things. on, wait, 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 wait. We're not Sports. talking about the shit that we drinking today. Yeah, I mean it's up there, but it ain't y'all ain't discuss it yet. We didn't. I'm what are we drinking listen. today, Cat? I'm almost basil head and dark rye. I don't like the nut ass. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, like you did an after you know, dark. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna say it's my fault. Shit, you know? it's after twelve. I cracked. <laughs> I cracked the bottle. I didn't speak on it. We were in mid conversation. I didn't right. want to slow down the show. You know, it's Bailey Hayden Dark Rye become a easy favorite for the group. Just, is, it, is that 2022? Just like his height, he that he's was, always yes, coming up 2022. short. 2022, fine. Okay, coming up on the draft. Yeah, like the the like the 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 the, the way. You know what? I'm I'm gonna leave it alone. Like all Cause you're only at, nah. That's a pause too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving on. Get off my ship, <laughs> Cap. God damn. But no, uh, listen. I fly planes, Jack. Oh wow. Okay. That was weird. Again. So yeah, like I, I, like I said, as far as like podcasts go, like I think a lot of dudes have paved the way. For what it looks like to be successful as far as having like a podcast, 
And like I said, those are the, the names that come to mind. Like I said, Gillian Wallow, um, as far as like Philadelphia based. Yes. Um, we got to give shout outs to them because before he had the podcast, he was been doing a million dollars worth of game, but just, just throwing it out there on like Instagram and Twitter and shit snippets. like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that, um, today they are where they are. It's like, you know, I mean, you got to applaud that. It's phenomenal. Uh, yeah, it really is. You know what I'm saying? Because he's one of those dudes that, sensational that, that, <laughs> that's been able to switch gears like so many different times. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really uh, tip my hat to them. I'm gonna start drinking New Amsterdam, huh? Again. <laughs> but I, I, I'm just saying, like for me, they they these are dudes who like really set the blaze uh, in, in this era. And what a lot of people don't. And you know what's funny? I was having this back and forth. Speaking of them. On, I think it was YouTube. I don't know who the dude was that was interviewing, but Charleston White was talking about um, dudes who doing podcasts, and he was like, "Academics is a th like basically like he more thorough than Gillian Wallow." So me personally, I took offense to it. Wait, academics is yeah. He said he was more thorough and he has a bigger voice. He the weirdest nigga alive. Who academics? He, I don't even know what he be talking about half the Without time. Question, he's the weirdest nigga. But he signed the ball off uh, to do the late night show. Who? Fox man. Academics. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he's. I, I know who he is, but he signed the. Like you. Uh, with, 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 uh, with the brat. He on the show with the brat. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking. That's about. what he sound like. I know. Man. I don't know his name, but I know what you're oh talking my about. God, though. Dude, I, I, academics sound like. I don't, I don't like that academics has in, embedded him, himself in the culture. Yeah. Like as much as we may not like it, he is a part of he the is. culture. But why though? But he is because like, of drill music. Like no, the way he shined the no, light on that drill music shit. It just funny thing is like when he was just on YouTube, I was fucking with his videos. Like he was giving his point of view and he was giving you a backstory of everything that was happening. Right. But now that he's in front of the camera for real, for real, it's like, I I can't stand this moment. He on some new platform now. I think they just gave him a deal. It's, yo, that's Trump's platform. Is it? Yes. Oh, that's why he took the picture yes. with him? Yes. What's Trump's the name platform. of it? I can't. I don't even remember. But that's Trump. Because once he got kicked off of Twitter, he bought a platform. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But I thought it was, that's, the, no, that's what it's called? It. Yes. That's it was it. called something else. No, that's it. Truth? Is that what it's called? Something no. like that. I, don't, I honestly don't. I, but that's Trump platform. Oh, okay. Well, that's either way, um, like I said, I'm going back and forth with the boy in the comments. Like, because someone, no, I said what I said. I said, giving academics more credit than giving Gillian Wallow is weird. But, you know what I mean? Everybody got their own opinion. And then somebody came back and was like, Gillian Wallow is clowns. And I'm like, bro, you don't know who these niggas are for real, for real. Like, my thing is, they giving a voice to the younger people, and even I, I can even say that I'm victim to this shit, or or I, I played into that, where a lot of these younger dudes I didn't want to listen to until I had somebody like uh, like Quad Air or Sadi like, no, what you call them? Like Migos is hot. I was never listening to the Migos. I wasn't, so I had missed out on like maybe the first album in the, in, in in a half. I'm gonna say because bougie drop because that's on the second. That's culture too, right? Yeah, the first culture I didn't listen to. I'm, I'm on the same type of time. I'm gonna give Saudi credit for Future because I wasn't listening to Future. I didn't catch Future until not Dirty Sprite too. Um, what's the John with uh the with, with, uh shit? Bananas. No, see, I, that was after the fact. I didn't even. I didn't even. Was it, was it Hendrix? No, no, it wasn't that late. It so wasn't after that late. Dirty Sprite too. Let me see. Hold on. I'm about to look it up now. Like that's uh, uh Evolve. That's POA, and that's the double album. Which one? After Dirty Sprite Two, that's the double album. Hold on. Is I'm about it to Evolve. I, I gotta look it up because I, I really don't even fucking about. remember. It had that, like the the burnt flower or some shit like that. No, it was Dirty Sprite Two actually. Oh. Uh, Where he asked that when I was. Yeah, there. yeah, that was, it was hey. Dirty Sprite Two. Because after that was what is time to be alive with him and Drake. Fire. Purple Rain, then Evol, the Future, the Hendrix, yeah. So yeah, that was that was yeah, See, that was it. Got a lot of That's why he can stand up and he can stand up in a, a versus battle with a lot yeah. of motherfuckers. He put out a lot of hits. He, he put out a lot of music, and a lot of them just happen to be hits. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, um, I wasn't listening to a lot of that type of stuff. That wasn't my thing. You know what I mean? If anybody who knows me, I'm more of like East Coast rap mainly. Obviously, I can venture off to a Kendrick every once in a while. Uh, 
Kanye is a different style of rap, uh, backpack rapping. Um, Wayne, I guess if you want to talk about the South T.I. a little bit, but I keep it to a certain thing. When you Luda. Came, I love Luda. Luda, my guy. I ain't going to lie. I, <laughs> Luda always been my dude. But I for the... He rap, he can rap. I love Luda. I ain't gonna lie. I bought. I do, I do fuck with Luda. I bought a lot of Luda albums. Like I ain't gonna lie. I'm 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 old enough to say like Circus City was like getting a lot of my Man. money. Man, you know I don't like Luda. Well, not I do like Luda. I don't want. I'm about to say if you don't like Luda, you're I do crazy. like Luda. I don't like that. Like, hey, shout it what it is. Every yes. bar is different from the last bar. Yeah. They give you two sets and then he moves on. He don't like he don't connect shit. Right. But I love Luda. Like, but yeah, his, his cadence. And the way he push it together is fire, though. I love Luda. Luda got Luda got some shit. Luda got some shit. Yeah, but you know what I mean. But I'm just saying, like, it's it's a lot of people who, um, that that wasn't on that type of time. Like Gillian Wallow is showing love to the younger generation so that they don't feel isolated and, and left out because that's what a lot of us was doing. Man, that's young bullshit. I might listen to that shit. And I and I was the same way. Until these I'm like, yo, tell me who who I can listen to. I listen to G Herbo now, like every once in a while. I'm not saying I consume it so much, but I, I do listen to G Herbo. I remember these conversations. Yeah, I listen to Lil Dirk from time to time. Um Ray Sherman, like that was Winston. Winston loved Ray Sherman. I wasn't even fucking with them. I was like, this shit's Sir, weird. That's my shit. But I listen no, to them. They're it's back air drummers. Air, air drummers spell back. Their, their first album was fire. Yeah. Like, oh, from front to back. I fuck with them. Migos is probably like a, as a group though, Migos is probably the one that like I felt like these niggas is different. Like, cause I can listen to culture one, two, and three and be like, Yeah. This, this shit is different. They're a lot better together. Yeah, yeah. They are. They are. A lot better together than they But you Yeah. I'ma just I'ma just say that. But I'm just saying, like, as far as podcasts go, like, you you can't disrespect the guys who who who, who did this shit before, and I just want to, like, you know, what I mean, just show love to the people who did it before. Like I said, Joe Buttons is definitely one of them dudes because like, he was one of them dudes. I think we first started seeing doing them. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing, bro? Like, what is going on here? And Taxstone was doing them in cars and shit, and I was just like, like, what is this? Like, shit? I don't know what these niggas is doing, but all right, whatever. And it is, it's funny to see where it's been and to where it's going. So, you know what? No, fuck it. Let's be like self, self indulgent. Let's take a shot to us. Okay. For being perseverant. Like, for, that's that's for, a fact. Because there's a lot of people like, who start and don't, and yeah, don't like, complete. And, 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 like, <laughs> we've like consistently, even though we, we've taken breaks because, you know, like we don't want to burn ourselves out. But like, We've done this consistently, like like I'm saying, for three years. But we consistently and, put out content, though. And, it may not be podcasts, but, but like yo, and you can and, follow us. And on top of all that, we enjoy it. Like we love what we do. Like we yes, we do. We love doing this shit. So we love drinking. Shout out to us. Not shout just out. not just I like drinking. not just drinking. It's up. Shout out to us. Yeah, shout out to us. We love drinking. We love men's double tap fellowship. because we, we yeah. double tap because we like it. And I'm gonna keep on drinking because I love this shit. <laughs> well, yeah, man, we we got. I, I like that though because we got to give ourselves a, a an applause and, and, yeah. and appreciate what we've done. Because if you look around, there's some there's some that you may have seen that popped up here and there, and then they stop, and then you don't see them go no more. You don't hear from them no more because shit is hard work. The shit ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? Like. And, and and wait, well, uh, I don't know if anybody was about to that take shit me. wasn't easy. Was. Taking all the shit back in here from the yard, <laughs> but no, but like <laughs> and, and like in all honesty, like shout out to Unk. If there's any like one person that like propels this shit forward, he is like the like the genuine catalyst. Like he does a lot of shit behind the scenes. Like without him. This shit wouldn't move the way it does, so we are we got pour up. We gotta take it. Right, yeah, and then we about to be drunk. We gotta take it a drink. Was, uh, <laughs> big facts. Listen, Paul's man. thrust into a room. <laughs> right, right, right. Say. You, you ain't lying. Oh, Y'all both got some. So uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, you ain't lying about that because you, yo, we, yo, we, yo, yo, yo. Let's not kill this. We are watching the game with this tomorrow. Right, right. Because we had we had people that was doing. I'm not going back over Jersey. Fuck we, you. We definitely had people that was in roles that's doing certain shit. We're not going back over Jersey. No, if work. we kill that, we're not going you back over Jersey. No, I gotta work. You coming over to watch the game? Yeah. I don't got nothing to do tomorrow. This so, so. <laughs> shout out. Shout out. 
Shout out on for pushing us forward. Uh, he is the oh, excuse me, Phil Jackson is his dynasty, I guess. Like, cause it's three <laughs> years. Uh, Who are you, Muggsy Bogues? What are you on my dick? <laughs> God damn! Ah, ah, like, ah, God, there you go. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's gonna say it. <laughs> you gotta cut that out. <laughs> yes, go. sir. Yeah. <laughs> Drink up the beer, motherfucker. Oh, I know what I want to say. Oh man, that's funny. What you call? Him? What's today? The fourteenth, right? Uh, well, uh, fifteen, well, fifteen. Right? Right. Well, oh, shit, what is it? Is it fifteen, sixteen? What you call? Him? We gotta go. We gotta see if we can locate it. The uh, the readers uh, beer is coming out oh, oh, tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta fuck with that. They said so tomorrow. Yes. We ain't got shit. We, just go find that shit. It's in the shame. Oh man. We gotta find it. I might as well do it before I get off. I'm gonna try to find. I'm gonna well, look at the clock. Yeah. They follow us back on Instagram, so I'm gonna try to DM and see if I, where I can find it at. But I, they are doing something somewhere. I saw it on their page. I just have to look it up. But I'm just saying for us to try to get it and just have it, that would be cool. Um, so if you don't know, uh, folks, so they the um, uh What is it? The Shamini. The Shamini Creek. Creek has a. They have different flavors, but I think the one they're putting out tomorrow is mango. It's a mango flavored beer. Yeah, we need that. We need Bet. that. We absolutely need. Is that, that. going to taste like a mango car? You know, what? I don't know, but I'm assuming so. But I don't know. You know what? Shout out to Chops because shout out to shout out to Chops because he, he was shot, the one that shot, put you he, on. He, put, he sent it to me. He was like, "Yo, there's some shit y'all could, y'all should try." I sent it to the guys, and everybody was like, oh, really? So, shout out to Chop. He also sent me some other shit recently. Okay. He's trying to kill me. Like, is, it, it the, is it the... He sent it to you, too? Yeah. Oh, my God. You know what's crazy about... Nigga. You keep busting your ass, man. <laughs> you know what it is. It's that food he <laughs> ate. <laughs> you know what it is. It's that food. Oh, it wasn't even that much food in the platter. <laughs> what's crazy yes, about that... It before. What's crazy about that video... Oh, he, had he, a, he sent... Shut she up. had a help. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> is it... <laughs> Is it is fuck it, in tomorrow? <laughs> is it sick that I want to try it? No, real shit. I do want to kind of try it. What is it? I've seen. It's a. I can't tell you exactly what it's called, but it's like. Just for an example, I'm not saying these are exactly what's in it. It's a shot of henny, a shot of Tito's, a shot of bamboo, a shot of dark uh, dark rye, a shot of. It's like yo, it's a bunch of shit in one drink, and then they got like two mixes at the end. It's like. What cool. the fuck? It's like fuck? coffee just, putting it, and then this oh, berry it, it putting it. Wow. It's like one drink will put you on your ass, honestly. Yeah, Would nope. y'all be willing to try the strongest drink ever? What's the strongest drink ever? I feel like this this yeah, fucking... That might be it. That if I we mean, show you this video... Uh, it's, it's some shit my cousin no, sent me. No, you gotta see this video. Got, all right. If it got any of that bullshit like Nikolai, then I'm nah. definitely... Not no, it ain't had Nikolai. Everclear, no, I'm talking about what he talking about. Everclear like, 151 some other <clears> shit. Nope. Was it but it's, but, it, but the way it, the way yeah, it finishes, man, know. like mm. it has, it has not chases, but it has mixes in there. I know, I but you're our resident, it. you're our resident. Um, try anything, guy. You can do it. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah we're yeah, yeah, yeah. drinkers here, baby. No, nah. that's what we do. We try anything. No, we don't. That's no, not. No, that's not true. You don't want to want to go to the beach. I don't want to go to the beach. I'm fine right where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> the, the nude beach, that is. No, no, no. I'm talking about the H, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, hedonism. No. Oh, no. He's so stupid. He said the beach. He's so stupid. God. So like, Damn. Punning in beach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Captain. Over the Pew. <laughs> but he still don't get it. <laughs> Kensington, man. Kensington. Oh, over there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over there. Man. Yeah, I'm not trying to go there. You keep talking about that H. I'm not I'm hey, cool hey. on that. Right, I'll hey. be honest with you. K and A got some nice apartments down there now. <laughs> it's still K and A outside the walls, but the the inside is amazing. Yeah, I bet it is. That's what they oh, tell you. No, no, I, I bet I've been inside. Like the shit is nice. Yeah. I know. You go just, yeah, when they it, go inside, it's amazing. No, but it's like it's really like blocked off in like a. I'm talking about this. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but it's like when it inside and inside, your shit like, pushed like, in, bro. That's the second what time you're you talking today. about, yo. The second time you said it today, you pushed in and pulled out. I tell you. <laughs> No, he said pushed in and pushed out. Yeah, this nigga's wild. You need a lot of help. Well, I think you got enough help if you had it pushed in and pushed out. <sighs> I don't know what to say after that. 
creep. That was a good episode. <laughs> but uh, um, let me see. Kensington, it's like walking in. I know what I want to close out with. And coming out to Jurassic Park. That's so wild, yo. So it's the last thing I want to close out with because we didn't get a chance to discuss it. Um, yeah, we in the shot in, will. in the heat of it, but hopefully we can narrow this down to about 10, 15 minutes. We about an hour and twenty four in. The Angel Reese thing, right? Um, what are your thoughts? Any of you guys, whoever want to go first, what are your thoughts Who? on the situation? Angel Reese. I got you. Oh, I'm gonna answer first. He said, I got you. I got you. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. So yeah, I guess you were the only one. He's the I'm only actually, one that's lost. Like I'm a like we're all big sports fans. Yes. But big facts. You uh there's like a dry month. There's like a not a month, but like there's like a dry time in sports, like usually the summertime. Like yeah. uh, July. Like baseball is like it's like it's it's, it's that's around that what the, I feel uh, like it's the dead part of the season because like it's like the middle of the season you get the all star break but it's like the middle of the season right. like you're not watching a bunch of baseball games like basketball isn't on football isn't isn't on uh, hockey isn't on right it's about July, no August then. so yeah it's like it's like, it's like it's like a dead time but the one thing that is on is women's basketball so even as like a teenager I've watched women's basketball me too I've I been a Phoenix Mercury's my team which was my favorite. Sue Bird is my favorite so, player. I knew he was. I don't know why I knew you was about to say that. Sue Bird is my favorite player. Diana Taurasi is the goat, though. Yeah, but those, those yeah, are the, those are I two, agree. Those are the two for me. I agree with so Diana Taurasi being the goat. Maya Moore would have continued her See, career. Right, right. She would have be been easily yeah, number one. I agree. But uh, so this motherfucker coming out now though. I watched. I watched. <laughs> watch, uh, so growing up, I watched uh, women's basketball. Right. Um, it was something to do when there was like. It's sad to say something to do with nothing, nothing to do because to do, like right. I, I still want to sports in my life. Yeah. So I preface that by saying like I'm I was an Angel Reese fan when she was in high school. I watched her uh Elite Twenty Four and I watched her in uh, McDonald's All American. Going into the championship game, a lot of people still hadn't heard of her because it's like women's basketball. But well, she she's a transfer, right? Yeah, she went she started she's at Maryland. Maryland right. She got hurt and then she had a bunch of like not a bunch, but like she had like some up and down times there. Yeah. She was like, I got to get out. So a lot of people didn't know about Angel Reese. Right. But you heard about Caitlin Clark because like she pulling from where Steph pulling from. But that's what's important right now. Right. So going that's into the wave. Exactly. So going into the game, it's like Caitlin Clark can't lose. She beat South Carolina, who's a juggernaut. Juggernaut. Right. Juggernaut. Like they're the new UConn. If you know UConn yeah. women, yep. it's like they don't they, lose. They <laughs> ran like the 90s in the 2000s in like. The 2010, Early, I about to say, they had a stretch. Like, so, like, they ran everything. Right. So, South Carolina is that with Don Staley. Shout out to Don Staley. Philly, you mean? Diamonds Mustang. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Don yeah. Staley. You got the best nickname ever. The Louis Vuitton yeah, Don. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, that's fire. But anyway. Right. So, for Caitlin Clark to be doing what she's doing, it was, like, an amazing thing. But if you watch women's basketball... You could obviously see LSU was the better team. So going More into the physical, game, going into the game, I had LSU winning. Caitlin Carter was going to do her thing, but regardless, but you posted about it. You was like, you had Iowa, but oh, you felt no, like I took a picture of Caitlin Clark. I'm like, let's see if she get it done. But at the bottom, I said, I got LSU, LSU though. Winning. Right. So, um, as far as Angel Reese goes, I love it. You lo- with, I, the, with the whole, I I love it. Every, even though, so hold up. It's Tony Yayo. It's Yayo. <laughs> Hiding from the cops. Yeah. It's Yayo. I know anybody want to give like love to what you call him, but it's Yayo. Yo. So, yeah, right. John so, Cena. Yeah, yeah, everybody give us Tony Yayo. But it's but Yayo. I love every part of it. The thing is, there's not enough eyes on women's basketball. True. So, Great. whatever you do, especially if you're against, if you're against someone like Kate, Caitlin Clark in that time, who's like the star Caitlin of all Curry star, Clark. Yo, who, who's the star of all stars, you're going to be scrutinized. Right. It doesn't happen as often in men's basketball, but we have like a a hundred year history to pick from. Yeah. Like I can tell you like Isaiah Thomas ducked out on the Bulls walking to the locker room. Part of the issue. It's the same fucking thing. It's, just, it's like uh, Mike leaving Leaving the court before no was it Mike? He left the court before the game was over. Oh, when they beat them, the he left before. the court before the game. It's the yo, it's the same thing, but because and it's all honesty because she's a black woman mm. in America and she was going against a white woman who was held as like 
the best thing right now. It's and she like, is though. She is. It, it, she, but it's like there's no at, doubt that she's the no, best no, no, player. No, no, no. In, in, in Which call number one? Caitlin Clark number one. Angel Reese number two. Because right. even because even if you if you think about like Kate, Caitlin Clark was averaging like thirty in the tournament. Mm. Yo, hooping. Angel Reese was averaging a double 20, double twenty five and twelve. Yo, right. like she hooping, but that gets looked over because like right she pulling from half court exactly. So I said a lot, but. I love everything about it. It keeps it competitive, and I love Caitlin's cart response about it too. Yes, me too. So, a one all across the board. It bring it's it, it's bringing like a uh, a new attention to one's basketball that's well deserved. Absolutely, I agree. Best one though. So that's what happened with Angel Reese. <laughs> Angel Reese is LSU. Yeah. Yes. Best, to buy you, what is it? Buy you Barbie. Barbie, best big man in the country. Yeah, how hard big woman. Um, <laughs> it's fine with me. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know much about the other chick. I mean, damn, damn. she, 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 she. Listen, she, all you gotta do is watch. You ain't gotta watch yeah, it. You watch the highlight. Like, she likes stuff. She likes stuff. Curry so out there, motherfucker. I don't watch bucket. like bucket. I mean, besides highlights, like I don't. No, she, a bucket. No, she really like. Yo, so you watched her like game? A bucket. Yeah, I just like. She got. She got South Carolina. I ain't know. I ain't know. South Carolina women. It's not like. I don't. Because this this would have been three years in a row if they won, right? No, no, they 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 won her freshman year. They they didn't win last year, and then they won. They would have won this year, so it would have been like two out of three. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah, she won two years ago. They didn't win last year. They would have won last year. Last year, no. Last year was South Carolina. I thought it was. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about Iowa. No, no, no. I'm yeah. talking about. Uh, oh yeah, they won last year. Yeah. So, so saying, but Iowa won the year before that. I thought you were talking about Caitlin Clark. No, no, no. I was talking about because uh, he was he was saying I was trying to tell him like um, he they, she beat uh, Dawn right. Stelly and them right. like that. That was yeah, yeah. Nah, that I was the that, that was much. the thing. I ain't never seen her play like that. Man. Yeah, no, she. she I, I don't really. Bucket. Bucket. So, I watched my little sister bucket. Bucket. play more basketball. Like she's not like. And like when you say Steph, it's not just like oh she's shooting threes. It's like no, no she can she play defense from, too. She, but, but even still, like the way she's shooting three, it's she's just unconscious. Off, she's coming off screens on both sides of the court. She's coming off a pin down. She's coming off pick and rolls. She's coming off a pull up. She's coming off a one two three pull on both with both hands. Like she's really like she 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 she's, she's the best woman. Yo. Player right now coming out of oh, college right like yeah. it's, it's not close it's no. definitely not close because what's called Sabrina Ionescu was like oh yeah yes. amazing Kate was she, she, was, to, she, she not even that Seattle though. right no she went to New York Liberty yeah she got her own shoe too she does yeah she got her own shoe it Caitlin, looked like Kobe but it, it, Caitlin Clark chitting on her though yeah oh, for sure God, Caitlin Clark different <laughs> she might it she stay healthy. <laughs> She the best woman player ever. Yeah, she fucking you know, tough. Kaylin Clark is definitely a nice. fucking bucket. No, but nice. so you said you don't have a problem with the situation because what you say? I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up. But I don't I don't have a problem with it at all. I think it like like Dur said it brings it brings more attention to the to the to the women's sports. Like mm-hmm. it's cool, man. I I love it. Like I'm a competitive person, and mm-hmm. to see the way that. Caitlin Clark was doing her thing when she was when she was scoring and getting buckets and doing the shit that she did, and then when it came for them to meet in the in the championship, it and was perfect. For Andrew, yeah, and for Angel Reese to get back and to do that shit to retaliate and do that shit back at her, it was like it was all in a in 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 good sport sportsman like for us like right. in competitiveness right, like right, right, right. like it's like oh all right damn she got it with her own shit like damn like. And then she hit it with the ring shit. Like it was, it was, it was, it was cool for me. Like I thought the shit was dope. Right. Both of them definitely put women, women's sports, and not not just basketball, just right. women's sports, definitely. to a whole nother level. It, it because uh, I know they, golf get really competitive. The women's the women, <laughs> LPGA, the fuck now that gets really competitive. The fuck the was that? I mean, I mean, she was the no, I'm saying <laughs> clearing your throat. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? What was I about to say? How long do y'all think it's gonna take? Well, I was still out, talking. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was. You done yet? You he said he wanted to wrap it up. No, I said I was gonna wrap it up, but I was gonna say something last, but 
Go ahead. Whoever talking, go ahead. I, 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 was, I got questions. I, I don't even remember what I was saying now, but um, I just want to know when when do y'all think they'll come out with a uh, God damn like a WNBA game? <laughs> Are they on two K? Like video? Yeah, they on two K already. Yeah, you're they late. Are? You're late, jackass. Last two two years. Last two, yeah, yeah, but I said it had to be recent. So the the first woman to be on a two K cover was Candace Parker, right? Because uh, they did the okay. they know they do the you most. Got, you got you got WNBA game? Huh? It's we, it's two K. We've, we've played. We've played it. I do, I have. I we, we played it. a actually we played. You, no, it's two K, but that. you can play with the women. They got all the teams on there. Same yeah. shit. Like, yeah. No, but, and, you can, and, and this year you do my no. player with a. Uh, no. Oh, you, you can with a woman. No, yeah. you just need to catch up with See, the times, I, jackass. No, I, I just do other shit, man. I keep telling y'all, man. I'm, I do. I know the um, watching porn is I ain't not. Oh like, no, <laughs> man, I work yeah. out and I do other shit. Like I don't like. But no, um. So what I'll say about it is my only issue was the people who had something to say about it in a negative light. Like, uh, um, yeah. Dave Portnoy. Uh, Dave Portnoy, who was Barstool. Well, he uh, was, he, who was it? So Kevin. Uh, Keith Oberman. Keith, Keith. That's why I said Kevin. Keith. Keith Oberman. Yeah. Him. Um, Dave Portnoy called her a piece of shit. But no, a classless. A classless class piece, piece of shit. shit. And Wichita called call her a fucking idiot. Idiot. Right. Um... I I actually went and listened to Portnoy's response on the podcast, and he's doubling down on that. And his reason is because he bet it on Iowa, and of course, right, right. He's from Boston, uh, mm. but he bet it on Iowa. He wanted Iowa to win, and he bet it like I want to say like twenty five thousand dollars or something like that, or whatever the case may be, and. That's what he's sticking to. That's the story he's sticking to it. I don't believe in calling no 20-year-old a classless piece of shit. I don't. I just don't. I don't think that that was right. And and I had a I had a back and forth uh, with Drees about it because he comes from an era where he was taught that act like you've been there before. You know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't, he don't feel like what she, he felt like what she did was over the top. And what she did was this in her face, and she followed her for about, I mean, everybody's saying 15 seconds. It wasn't that long. It was like six to seven seconds or something like that. She walked one way, she walked this way. Cause, cause honestly, initially, it didn't necessarily look like she was doing this to her. It looked like she was just doing it. Right. But when she changed direction, it was like, right. oh, it is her. Right. It wasn't 15 seconds. It wasn't she walked that long. away and did this. Right. So that was my, I, that, I brought that up because. There's a lot of shit that goes on, like you just said, even in men's basketball, that are way more disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Way more. Absolutely. She didn't physically touch her. She didn't physically bump her. Nothing, nothing, nothing that was like disrespectful or classless. It was, you did this or to spit on, right? Or spit on, no, which we know like, Barkley did. Like, I, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I can think of, I can think of one something that one person said to another person. That's way worse than anything that's ever happened. Right. In that Said. Place. Said. Right. Yes. yes. So. Right. A gesture is nothing. Right. So oh. doing this, you can't see me. And the important because we about to win is is minute to what we've seen in men's basketball. Mm-hmm. So to make this out to be. Or football. Or football. Right. Or football, yeah. So to make this out to be way bigger than what it actually was in, in its totality to say a classless piece of shit. Is crazy to me, and then to double down and be like, "Well, that's what I thought." Find me anything out there that's similar to this, and I'll no. It doesn't matter. It don't have to be exact. It don't have to be similar. The fact is, they're competitors, and she didn't even have a problem with it. Oh my god, that's the and biggest that's why issue. I like her. I think I like her more. I, that response was everything. Right. So my whole thing is, I love it for the same reason that y'all said. It shined a light on them. I want them to be getting paid more because they mm-hmm. put in that much work. If we look back on what just took place this past year with Brittany Griner, where she has to work another job overseas and get caught up for some dumb shit and wind up spending 10 months in prison mm-hmm. for some weed. A, she was a prescribed pen, to. Right, a pen. And you had to, they had, we had to give up. A motherfucker who we shouldn't have had to give up. Horrible fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? We lost like out on that, but the, but the, but that's my point though. Like, shit was all part. I'm of hoping life. that it's a positive light that shined on this sport that they can get paid more money, so they don't have to do all this extra shit. You know what I mean? Like, 
the thing is, like Kobe before he passed, he was trying to do that. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man, the show would be so further. He was trying to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So Especially with his daughter. Right. The ranks, yeah. So my thing with, with, with all of this shit, like they trying to make it a bigger deal, like Jill Biden inviting the loser to the fucking White House. Like, what never do we do been, that at? Like, never, yeah. You don't do that's no dumb shit like that. Discussion. But that's because they're, they're so hung, hung up on Caitlyn. Caitlin right, Price. and I get it, yeah. but at the same time, that's just, it's a no, bro. It's, it's, an, it's, it's a no. It shouldn't, have, it shouldn't have been a discussion. It shouldn't have been a topic. Right. N- it, but that LSU that. team earned that shit. Yes, they did. Oh, that was, What's the other joint? Flaugé? Flaugé yes. Johnson. Yeah. Right. You know what's funny? She had a bad game. She yeah, she did. Horribly. She did. Which but she all, hooped uh, the whole year, though. What the fuck is her name? Uh, what's the other one that came off the bench? Uh, with the shortcut, right? No, uh, she had, oh, no. She got blonde. Parker. She hit like four or five. She had like 20 or some half, shit like that. Half, hooping. Uh, Damn, what is... Then you had... What's her name? I know, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, look it up. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. But the whole thing... Yeah, I, I just love... I ain't watch it. I love that they... Sh- the, the light that was shine on this team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love what it's doing for women's sports. I love that... Is 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 giving them a platform? What they like? She even like she's what? What, what she about to say? Jasmine Carson is the shooter. Yeah, right, right. That's what I'm talking about. And the other one, who honestly, if because Angel Reese struggled when she was in foul trouble, and the other one who cooked the whole game, Alexis Morris. Yeah. So again, these, these women, they they they. They did their thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. a lot of people had Iowa winning. They thought it was a clean cut because of Caitlin after Clark, they, obviously. A, after they knocked off um, South Carolina. South Carolina, right. Because they beat, who was it, Louisville before that? No. But she but in those two games, she averaged like 38 or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, she. Walking Kate, bucket. Yeah. Caitlin Clark is different. They call it Caitlin Curry <laughs> Clark. Oh, like, that shit different. crazy. Like, but like I said, I, I, I like it for what it's doing for them because. They shouldn't have to. They shouldn't be paid what they're paid as far as their salary goes in relation to the NBA. Mm. They said that there are mascots that make more than the players. That's fucking That's ridiculous. That's insane. No, 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 no. Angel Reese. Oh, she's staying. In, she's staying. She's staying for the. Yeah, animation. I mean, she has no choice because, like, you have to when college, well, women's basketball, you have to do four. You have to do four years. You do. Yes. But I yeah, saying, I, I ain't gonna lie. But she's saying like she's not in a rush. Like yo, she makes more money than yeah, she do. One point two million. I saw. Did not jersey there, sell out when she just posted? Yes, yeah, jersey but, sold out. But yo, there's no, and from my knowledge, there's no WNBA player making a million dollars. No, I think the I highest thought, is like six hundred thousand. I thought with endorsements. Um, oh no, no, I'm talking about like well, oh salary. What it, what it was, I was talking about salary, but like oh, but that's her. Technically, that's her salary. Like right, right, right. I see, college, even though yeah. it is an endorsement, that, that's her salary. Like right, she's making more than right everybody. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, listen, I, I just like I said, I love what it's doing. I ain't have a problem with it. Um, like I said, Drees was saying that like, it, it's one of those things where. I think it's old school coaching as opposed to new school coaching. Like a Bill Parcells would have been mad that she would have done something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because Thanks. they have this way that they coach and, and, and players took to that because it mm-hmm. challenged them today. We have more player coaches that allow them to do what they want to do to have fun. It's still a sport. It's a game. Yeah. yeah so yeah. today the coaches that you see in any sport are allowing them to be a little bit more free in what they do as far as celebrating, let's just say that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or they, what's they, on? They, they even got a little, well, probably been a couple of years with, with the, the way the, uh, the coaches dress with the sweatsuits. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it became true. more yeah, lax. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's it true. is. That was only because of the uh, bubble. Yeah, it was. That was only but, because of the but bubble. It, but, they, but, but my thing is, like, think about what, what goes on with these players and these coaches. If I'm getting paid just as much as you, or if not more, how can you talk to me like I'm some fucking kid and not treat me with respect? Because, again, if we go back to that old school style of coaching, they demean these motherfuckers. They made you feel like shit. And and also, if you think about it, like, in the 90s, because in the 2000s, shit, like, the way players were getting paid got ridiculous. Yeah, it started, and, like, the, the money from... Which call? Like, Michael Connolly was, like, the, uh, the first one, he, he the always number one contract. Yeah. But no, but but you got to think because it was like 150, 154, more than Mike, 150. Mike 
his last two years with the Bulls, he made thirty. What is it? Thirty million, at least yeah. thirty million each year. Yeah. Every year before that was not over like seven million. Right. Damn. But that's a lot of money back then. But it, but you of think about, but you think about it, it's like, damn, like coaches not coaches may have been making the same. If, if, like right. Jerry Sloan may have been making like. Mike's salary back then, like two, three million, right? Or Carl Malone's salary, it's an even playing field. You got Mike Conley making thirty-three million dollars a year. What the fuck is Mike Brown gonna say to him? Right. Mm, like honestly, like it's ridiculous shit. Right, and that, and that, but that's why it tilted the scales in in the players' favor, which I can see why some people would have a problem with that because if you think about it, like. I'm the coach still. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I should so have a different level of respect. Did. Right, right. I should have a different level of respect. But these players, they run they run the organizations from a standpoint of he can't be here for me to win. He can't be here for me. So if you want me to win, if you want to see a championship come here, get rid of him, 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 bring me them, and then I'll give you what you need. You still need a hierarchy, in my opinion. The Lakers don't have that. They got LeBron. Though. The different. Cavs didn't have that. They had LeBron. <laughs> I mean, what you say about the Heat then? They had LeBron. Yeah, but uh, Pat Riley was there though. Oh wait, Pat Riley was there and he groomed uh, Spolster. Spolster, right? I don't disagree. Spolster's with that. a great coach. I don't disagree with that. We didn't. We we didn't think it in the beginning. No, no, no. no. We, we definitely did. Great Spolster's coach. a great coach, but also, I, yeah, I thought that. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. We're a hundred percent on that. Strong. On the same page. Like we've had multiple conversations about that. Yes. And then recently we had. I, I think I may have been the first person to come out like, yo, we were all wrong about Spolster. Like we had that conversation, but I know also, I was. I, I admit that, that, first, that first series against Dallas, LeBron didn't show up. Well, that, but that's, they were still trying to figure out that, all, as you say, the hierarchy. They are, but all, but at the same time, every series after that, LeBron showed up. I feel like LeBron's a different animal. Uh, who they yeah, lose to the Spurs? That's what I'm saying. Spurs oh, last year, thirteen OKC. or fourteen. They beat OKC. 2012. I know. I'm saying when they see, lost, though. When they lost what? to the Spurs, it was 13 lost, or 14. 11, they lost to so Dallas. 10, 11. What year did he go? So 11, 12, Dallas. Right. 12, 13, they beat OKC. 13, right. 14, Spurs? they beat the Spurs. They lost 14, the next 15, year. 15, they lost Spurs. to the Spurs. That's the it's 120 he, degrees in here. Yeah. And he cramped up. Right, right, right. He cramped up, right. When the Kawhi. Next year, he went <laughs> to the finals with. Who was the coach? He only did four years there. But who was the first? Remember, they had the coach David before. Black. Yeah. Oh, with him. Cleveland. Oh, yeah. Fuck. The first I forgot coach. about Black. Yeah. And they brought Tyrone Lewin. He, he's the best European coach ever. And what happened though? But see, that, that that goes. I was trying to get there, but that's what goes into what I'm saying. He's a coach, coach. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, this is my system. Run it this way. And he like, oh no, get him the fuck out of here. We need somebody yo to bring Tyrone Lewin and go. Hey, I'm just here to. What you need me to do, bro? It's, it's just the way the system is now. Because, like, Steve Kerr, you think Steve Kerr is a better coach than, let's say, Doc Rivers? Probably not. Fuck no, baby. But. Uh, before we switch off, is Steve Kerr a better coach than Nick Nurse? No. No. Nope. Steve Kerr has, has had a, the luxury. Immense talent. No, no. Not even just immense talent. He had the luxury of coming into a situation where. We knew how to use the players that we have. Mark Jackson showed him how to use Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. The only all thing he did was he, uh, he switched Draymond. out Draymond. That's the only thing David he Lee did. used to start. That's the only thing he did. I don't think it's the only thing he did. I think it is. I think Mark Jackson is somewhat of that in between old school, new school coach, and Steve Kerr is a do your thing. <laughs> and I'm t- the only thing he did. Yo, but he showed like. Because even, even Mark Jackson, David, David was David Lee. David Lee, yes, David right. Lee, right. Walking, right. Walking, David walking, Lee. walking double double. But Mark Jackson was the one that told Steph, like, listen, and mind you, Monte Ellis was uh, a guy in the NBA. He told man. Steph, like, bucket. you're my, you're my guy. Fucking bucket. Like, regardless of what Monte is, you're my guy. Show me you're my guy. He gave him that confidence. And that's Steph did his thing. Bad angles and everything. And Steph did his thing. But that's the difference in, in, in philosophy, though. Mark Jackson, I don't think, is that type of person. I don't think he's that kind of coach. I think he's the coach that this is my system. We run it this way. This is this is how we're going to do it. Where Steve Curry, like, I know I, what you can do. Go out there and do what you do. I, I I'm agree. Gonna sit here. But he knows what. He he came into that situation like you say like Steph Curry. No, I know what you can do. He knows what he can do because Mark Jackson let Steph Curry like yo. 
You're my guy. Do your thing. That's what you think happened. You, and you're my one hundred percent. One hundred percent. That coach, that coach, right? Uh, Steph Curry. Like not to say that total different point guards. Bro. Right, totally different point. Not guard. to say at some point Steve Kerr wouldn't have said, "Do your thing." But he didn't have Jackson to come in. Shoot for shit. He didn't have to come into it guessing. Like, yo, I know what you could do. So you Boy. you you would subscribe to the idea that, like, he kind of just walked into a great situation. Yo, or did like he Barry Switzer. A, a, like, well, a, that, like, that, that's a, he had a perfect hey, storm. They had already hey. won. He is he is the second best coach in my opinion. Who? Oh. Whoa, Phil Jackson. Who's the second best coach? Phil here? Jackson. Oh, he walked in. Who's the best coach? Pop. 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 I know he's gonna say it. I feel like Pop. His system is amazing. So where does Chuck Daly fall into this set? Mm. Mm. Or fucking Pat Riley? What did they fall in? Pat Riley would be three. I think okay. Chuck Daly would be four. Really? I'm not a. Huge fan of Jerry Sloan. We we've had really, that. We, but we've uh, had that argument though. Jerry Sloan is a we we've had that fucking argument. He 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 he's cool. No, nah, he's better. Than that's cool, crazy, yo. yo. Hey, he just, hey, hey, he Rudy, just went up against another, Mike. That's dog. another episode. That's another episode. Bob Rudy Tom Mike. Janovich, man. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> Paul Westfall. <laughs> Again, shut up. Damn, <laughs> oh, man. So, so you uh, say it again. Jerry, so what's your what's your Larry Brown, Phil, Pat, Pop, Phil, Pat. Pop, Phil, Pat, and who do we just say? Uh, Kerr? No? No, it wasn't Kerr. Damn. So he's leaving out late, bro? What did I just say? I'm drunk, man. Chuck uh, Daly. Chuck, Chuck Daly. Chuck Daly. I'll, I'll put Chuck Daly there. Yeah, because Chuck, Chuck is bull. Larry Brown is good, too, though. Oh. See, that's another one. But see, you naming them old he school. Fell, he fell into that category. Team was already put together. He didn't have a team, honestly, though. Like, and the, with the Pistons? No, 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 I'm talking with the Sixers. Oh, uh, he had Iverson with the Pistons. He had he he just had to put them in the right spots. He had a defensive like he made them, the right them motherfuckers work. He put them in the right spots. Yo, like yo, Ben we, Wallace. He, he said we are not going to be like we're not right. going to outscore these. Other we're motherfuckers. not going to be like nobody else. If y'all play defense and make the open shot. Yo, yeah. Rip you, yo, you know Chauncey. Them, you know what the motherfuckers are? They like the 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 Chicago eighty five Bears of defense in no. the NBA because no motherfuckers. But, but real shit, yo, none of, none of them played niggas to sixty nine <laughs> points. It was bad. With those five players, like with Chauncey, Rip, Tayshawn, well, m- maybe not so much Tayshawn, Ben and Rashid. Hmm. The five of them didn't play basketball like that before they got to Detroit. Oh no, that's absolutely. all Larry Brown. Oh for sure, none of them played. But like he's that. a coach's coach, though. He's that. Rip, yo, he's exactly. what I mean by a coach. Though. Rip Hamilton was a one-on-one player. Chauncey Billups was a one-on-one player. Was that the trade Stackhouse she, Rip? It might have been. Yep, she was a one-on-one player. Ben she Wilds used to nobody. give me yo. And Tayshawn Prince, it, he's the youngest one out of the bunch, so he, right, he was like a rook fell into coming the, into that. The right. he, yeah, but he, he was, was athletic as shit. That he can get around the court. Lanky, best, lanky, yeah, lanky. He got one of the best blocks. He made ever it difficult, too. right? He made it difficult. He got one of the best, like that block on Reggie Miller. Yeah, yeah. like Reggie Miller had like fifteen That's, feet on him. He started that chase down shit. Oh, yeah, who oh, oh, did Trey beat? They didn't beat the Lakers. They did. Yes, they did. But Gary Payton and Carl Malone. Yep. Damn, that was yeah. They 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 damn they they damn. Yes, they, they did. Beat the Lakers. They, they, had, they almost won. had a ring. One yeah. of the first super they're, teams. They're, 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 but I, you know what's funny? I wouldn't even call them a super, a super team. team. I wouldn't call them a super that team. That Lakers team. Hell no. Oh, no, no, no. Lakers. That Lakers team was, was a Gary Payton and Carl Malone. With Gary ah, Payton and Carl Malone, that was a super team, yo. Uh, was washed. What? Yeah, they were washed. Oh, that washed. was a washed. super washed. team. Washed. Yo, they ran through the West. It was washed. Because they had Kobe and Shaq. They had Kobe and Shaq. And then they had Kobe and you had I mean, two. I know, but you had Hall of Famers. It wasn't GP. You had two Ballers Hall of Famers. It wasn't GP and Garrett Carter yeah, doing fine. that though. Yeah, that's they, I see what he's saying though. Conversation. It was just I know, but I, I see what he's saying. They, that's like if Zeke come back to the Cowboys, man. Listen, he's a reinforcement. That's, that's not different. it. No that's different. not it at all. That's a bad comparison. No, 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 it is. You talking about all stars? No, I get what he's saying though. I get what everybody's saying here, but. He's oh, a reinforcement. But, I, but I, the reason I'm gonna say it's different. He's because, insurance policy. But think about it: if you got that vet, that starters. veteran predi- pre, uh, that you got that ve- veteran presence off the rip, that's been to championships so and think. has lost, you do have a level of like they can carry this a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Zeke ain't that, huh? Zeke ain't that. I'm not, I'm not talking. I was talking about with Carmelo oh, and. I thought he was agreeing with him. 
No, I mean, but Zeke, but they, they, he did win an Ohio they, they State, dog. Don't try to play my they, dog. Play yo, my they man. can't. Listen. Don't try to play my, my man. Tony can't live without Zeke. Zeke can't live without Tony. Tony can't live without somebody that, that's, that's, ain't nobody probably going to run the ball. I, 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 I get what you're saying. Though. Like, yeah. man, like, like Ronald Jones. But I do not think. I think the first super team was Boston. There you go. Now All them niggas average right. 25. And, and the, in the in the 2000s era, absolutely. Oh, no, because he, the 80s that, had super teams. Boston. Right. Robert Parrish. The Kevin Magic, Robert nigga, Harris. the Sixers, Magic, all of them. James Worthy, Carl Malone, yeah. All them niggas had super teams it back then. It became different when LeBron decided he wanted to leave. The, well, no the plateau he was. Well, no. It's just the way he went about doing it. It's Free only agency. the way. Free agency, okay. Yeah, it's only the way he went about it. It's not that he did it. It's the way he went about doing it. Like, you make it a spectacle and, oh, I'm taking my talents to South Beach. Like, we didn't need to do that. Yeah. Exactly. And I get that he did it for, it was like the Boys and, was, Boys and Girl Club, yeah, something like that. Uh-huh. So it brought awareness to that. But nobody cared about that. We only cared about where the fuck you were going. And you went to Miami. And created a super team, my nigga. And then you went to Cleveland. Created a super team, my nigga. And then you went to LA. You created a super team. So you created super team everywhere you went. So that's just... Question, question. When would LeBron have possibly won his first ring had he not made that move to Miami? He may have never won it. He wouldn't have. He may have never won it. Cleveland didn't want to win. They didn't. Daniel Gilbert. They just wanted to put asses in them seats. Their best player that they pair with LeBron was... Mo Williams? No. Larry Hughes? No. So so does LeBron Wait, championship have Ashley? I was about to say Danielle Marshall. No, Antoine Jameson. What's the, the best player Ew. they pair him with? Damn. So, no, no, but you got to think. You got to think. Mo Williams was not that before no, he, he was it. Before he, he got with LeBron. Over there at one point. Larry Hughes was. Uh, like, he was injured, though. Larry Hughes was all right. Like, Larry Hughes, Larry Hughes. Right, right. But Antoine Jameson was the only, like, Close Juice to the ball for Philly like Larry He was a star in the NBA when right. he went to team up with LeBron. I was like, who did they give him? Shaq. Damn. 38-year-old Shaq. Yo, man. Like, like, yo, LeBron was, may have never won. The only reason they did something when he came back is because they had to draft. Think about it. They drafted Anthony, they drafted Bennett. Anthony Bennett. They don't know what the fuck and they're they doing in Cleveland. they traded him away. They don't know what the fuck they're doing in Cleveland. I thought what you call was there. I mean, Cleveland don't know what the fuck they're doing in Cleveland. We've been there. Hey, Reese, Cleveland don't know what the fuck they're doing in Cleveland. That was, uh, he traded him away, though, I thought. Who, Anthony Bennett? No, 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 the other one. Andrew Wiggins? Wiggins. Wiggins. They that was, that was LeBron. after. LeBron. Anthony, so they had three oh, number one picks. They had right, Kyrie, right, 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 Anthony right, Bennett, right. and... Uh, yeah, Wiggins. Wiggins. Uh, Kyrie stayed obviously. I guess I'm getting drunk too. And if they I traded Cleveland. Andrew. They traded Andrew Wiggins for LeBron. No, no, no. They traded Andrew Wiggins for Kevin, Kevin Love. Love. Yes, that's, that's who how, that was. That's how they got in Cleveland, right? But because he told them you got to get you got to get him out of there no, and bring Cleveland him in. Didn't, they didn't give him a star. The, only, the star he had was the Twan. Guy, Twan. Kyrie Irving. When he came well, back. Well, when he came well, back. Well, Antoine, right. Antoine Jameson, but, like, it's Antoine Dr- Jameson. Like, he wasn't. He was tough, though. He was. He had a moment. He, he had a moment. He's not that. He, not he, was a real he had, like, player. a two, three years. good role player. player. Even before Kyrie, before LeBron got there, Kyrie wasn't there. He was missing games every fucking year. Indeed. Kyrie and he wasn't Irving carrying was that a, team. A 25 no, 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 no. max the earth, the win, earth is win flat. player. Yeah. No, no, no. Kyrie did not carry a team. But Kyrie, 25 max wins. Kyrie Show LeBron, I can give you exactly what you need in the teammate. Right, he's no, the most, that, he is the most that, skilled all LeBron, point guard Le, in the NBA, man. LeBron is an anomaly. Like That's true. As good as he is, he doesn't, like, before Russell, LeBron was the, like, the definition for us is like a walking triple-double. Right. But the difference between him and Russell, he didn't need the ball to be that. Like, right. Let, do your he not going. He don't, you're not going to see him overwork himself to exactly, get that triple. It's, exactly. so it's going to come to him. He was doing his thing. And right. when he came back to Cleveland, he told Kyrie, like, yo, go ahead. I'm going to get mine. Don't worry about me. Because he been in. But he, that's he what know. he needed, though. Cleveland didn't give him that before that. Yeah, of course. Daniel but, Gibson, but, but, Jamar but, Boone. But, wait, wait, but think about it. Who at the time could could he have paired with that, that would oh, have shit, given him? I don't, I don't know. Nobody. Exactly. So he needed to leave. Yeah. Let them get yeah, their yeah. picks yeah, the or whatever they're going to do. The yeah, yeah, he did. He needed that. Because at the same time, think about him and Wade. They was battling on who team it was. and it got Wade County and all that bullshit. Yeah, and it was like, bro, we lost last year to the Mavericks. We shouldn't have. It's your team, my nigga. The, the Banana Boat Summer. Oh, yeah. The banana Boat Summer. But, you know. Um, we'll get back. I, 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 I yo, go. no, we'll get back to this tomorrow, though. 
Yeah, yeah, we can talk. We can talk about this shit all night. Cause sports is sports. Sports is definitely sports, and we love it. One, 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 one of my friends <laughs> put a poll up. On, on, that wasn't the poll. It was <laughs> probably like me. Shit. And I, I had to bring this to the attention of my unprivileged drinking brothers. Go first, whoever chooses to. So, God help you. Would you rather marry the person you lost your virginity to? Or stay in the first job you ever had for the rest of your life. Wait, 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 wait. Say it again. Say it again. So I can. I, Would you rather me? marry the person you lost your virginity to, or stay in the first job you ever had for the rest of your life? That's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. That's what I thought I'd be. Well, my first job was reading, so hell no. <laughs> well, who's no, it, I mean, the, I like you having reading. Ma- so you you like it. I don't like so it. So what's his life? Though? You go, you got to say like hell no. Yo, yeah, my bro, he like 50. He working free. You want some free water? <laughs> that's, 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 not, that's a, a, a huge what disappointment. Uh what? Mar- married a person you lost your virginity to. Yeah. Married a person I lost my virginity to. Yeah. That's insane. I well, worked in Macy's. It was retail. I hated retail. I was about to say, my first job. I don't know what the fuck. I, I don't know. The person I lost my virginity to, I don't know what the fuck she's up to. I know. I was, <laughs> I don't know. Fuck that's not the question, I, though. I don't know what she's up to either. But I, I That's her. not the question. I would have married her. Well, yeah, I'm going to say. I, I guess I'm married. I'm going to say I'll be out of a job readers? already. So. Readers? <laughs> All right. All right. Just go, bro. Yeah, in a way, it's a lot to go. It's cool. Just say you're But no, like, real shit. And we got to shot with Sears is closed. That was my first, like, official job. Like, I worked at a summer camp thing with Miss Wanda and shit, but before that, like, yeah, you know I mean, but we got a check though from there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, but my first first job was like Sears. So my first official job. My first official job. Like, like. I'm saying like uh, that, uh, a summer price? job is a summer job. You know what I mean? Like, if you know. Oh yeah, well I that's can't come like, over to Richard's uh, tax office. Right, my first official job where I'm working on my own with Sears. Five fifteen now, Wendy's. I never forget that shit. No, five seventy five. See, I was Burger Man. Motherfucker come through and it was the nut ass shift too. I had to be there like two when I got off of like fucking two. Uh, Yo, late night over there at Jan's Park. You know how we like we done it, man. Shit. We done it on Boo Boo. You go there, you get 30 double cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was embarrassing. <laughs> Yo, every time you went to do the ask for that large ass order for us and all his kids, 30 you. double cheeseburgers, Yo, you 30 see- large fries. <laughs> My mother was mad. Yo, <laughs> you serious let, right now? Yeah, let, right. Yo, let me get 14 six piece nuggets. Like, that shit was drawn, man. So I went through that <laughs> at Wendy's when people came to the drive through. Yo, let me get 12 junior bacon cheeseburgers. But I wasn't receiving the order. I was the boy that had to get the, you know what I mean, the burgers together. And it was like different ounce, Paul's proteins. So it was like an eight ounce and like a six ounce. So. <laughs> Shit was crazy, man. And, and the bacon, they came on this, like, uh, this wax paper. So if they want something with bacon on it, and I ran out of bacon, I literally had to stick that shit in the microwave for, I guess, about a minute. But that shit, because they coming through today, they drunk, they high. You know what I mean? I get it, because I do it when I'm drunk. Or, you know, I don't really smoke. Uh, I don't smoke. Uh, you know. <laughs> Whatever. I do my recreation. I so choose to do it, but I drink. You know how it is late night. You know, listen. Party over, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning? What is it? It's checkers. Checkers is the best thing ever right. at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I think they went out of business or something. They, yeah, I don't be seeing none of it that. It is best. one still open. I heard that Aaron Mingo. Best drunk I heard, food ever. Listen, man. Listen. Them fries, them checker fries at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the fucking morning, boy. And it's crazy because it's like one of the only things open, one of the only fast food spots is open as far as drive is concerned. Right. Uh, versus going to a Chinese store and, you know, who the fuck knows what's going to happen there? But, yeah. Or a Wawa. Yeah. Well, if you in, like, the county somewhere or, like, up northeast or shit up the area avenue. Yeah, possibly. But, um, yeah. I, I think that... Fuck. I, I really think that we should carry on with this shot, Will. We don't do Yes. Yes. Man, get this, come on, stop, man. Come on, man. Ray, Jen, Visa. Yeah, I'm just put those three on there. I don't feel like nothing. Uh, oh, yeah? Some, uh, some yeah, shit. 
<laughs> yeah, he did. Can't control one. So, um, my my, let's do uh, what? Let, let's do a prediction for tomorrow. What with the Sixers? Yeah. The score or we gonna win? What you saying? What fifteen? I'll 12? say this. I'll say this. If uh, when we play, watch out for Cam Thomas. Hmm. Cam Thomas and Miles Bridges. Well, you know, Mikael Bridges. Mikael Bridges. Mikael, right. Oh, you know what I love about Bridges? this? I was about to say, who the fuck is Miles Bridges? Ben Simmons' bum ass <laughs> has to lose to the Sixers. It's only fitting. Hey, right. Hey, give me five. It's only fitting that we play the Brooklyn bum ass Nets in the first one. Yo, we better not lose another fucking game to the Brooklyn Nets this season. <laughs> they better not gain another yard. What about Cam? Uh, I ain't gonna put. I'm gonna just let y'all see because I don't feel like putting this shit on here. Uh, uh, All right, let's go. Mm, the oh. doors will be locked. Whew. What? V-Sop. Unless you bring in strippers and cocaine. Uh, what? It's like, no, just God forgive me. That's just the devil that just came out. That Damn, wasn't uh, Deacon Howe. It's you. <laughs> oh. That says Captain. Yes. And Why the fuck you so hype? Because that's how it needs to go. Pour up, bitch. Woo! But why are you so excited about this? Because we, because so this, I'm, I'm, I'm so, uh, I'm confused. Why are you so excited every time I had to take a shot? So now you on my Johnson. What? Now you on my Johnson. <laughs> but listen, doesn't this exclude me from the next round? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> bitch. Because the last time, because we ain't do it in a long time, so that's why I was like, but I'm not going to reset the world. Here you go, time. buddy. All right. I have to. <sighs> Pay my d- you can tell I'm feeling it from my posture. And uh, take the shot. Stop bitching. Take the shot. Talk too much. Homeboy, you need the pa- shot. Oh. Yeah, that's that's it. Paulie. Shout out to Paulie again. Rest in power, Paulie. Yes, sir. Dobbs Mustang. Drink the shot. You make my motherfucking stomach turn when I see you drink that shit, man. We gotta do something like we don't have to be the worst of the worst. Listen, all day. This is this is like fancy feast, cat food. He's busting his ass. Versus the bullshit. Damn. Damn. I hope to God Fuck. you get ran nephew. You hate her. I said I hope to God he gets ran nephew. I didn't say you. Hey, he fucked you. <laughs> Then we supposed to be Playboy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just get it over, it, man. Fuck! It ain't going away. Shut up! I but am. It ain't going away, but down your throat. <laughs> oh, you know what I was saying? I'm like, damn. I don't think we should probably do, it, but it was the pickles that he threw up on. <laughs> I still never had it, remember? I'm cool off that shit, yo. I had it first and then you had it. Yeah, I never had it. I'm cool off that shit. Oh, my God. That's a shot. Oh, God damn, this shit stink. (laughs) You know what? Usually on your side. But you remember when we went to Jamaica? (laughs) What? You you ain't never let nobody let this shit down. You had a shot waiting for me? I got some good shit for you. And it was raining that for you? <laughs> we just re- recently watched that video. Ooh, this shit stink. <laughs> he do, he do, yo. <laughs> Dude, this shit smells. To the end, my friend. <laughs> oh, this shit stink. Hey, listen, for the folks that are still watching, this is the 
rum that makes the best rum punch I've ever had in my life, to be honest. You just shouldn't drink it straight. You, you shouldn't. Not by itself. It should not be consumed by itself. I, I'll be honest. It's like the rum version of Everclear. Yeah, like it makes a great rum punch for a person that knows how to make it. God damn, don't drink that shit straight. Why well, what are you waiting on, man? I'm waiting for you to shut the fuck up. No, I'll just put it down there. What the fuck, yeah, yo? Think? You have to use uh, your words a little wisely, a little more wisely, yo, because you just sound bad. Wait, oh. What's your numb ass pilot with that red nephew playing? Play up, play up. Drink, 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 drink. Can't do that. Can't do that. Yo, that's against the rules, yo. Oh, you don't have no rules for this shit, yo. Now we definitely do high card, but maybe tomorrow. You don't have it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> listen, uh, I'm gonna be. Here we out. I'm gonna be <laughs> listen, I'm gonna be real with y'all. These episodes are supposed to be a fucking hour. This is two hours and ten minutes in. I don't. We just. I, I don't know what it is. We just. Oh we've been. We just been doing whatever the fuck we want to do. You know what I'm saying? So tap in, tune in with the guys, man. Subscribe to the channel. Um, we're going to keep putting out content. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. just follow the journey because we're going to have a lot of fun with this shit. You know what I mean? We're going to keep keep just putting out content. Like I said, we're going to... Um, we're going to the Black Bear Festival in uh, June. Absolutely. So, we're going we gonna, to we gonna so be going August, live a lot August more. Jack at. Yeah, yeah, you, you be quiet. <laughs> shit. Yeah, hold it down, play. Hold it down. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> we appreciate y'all for tapping in and tuning in with the guys, man. It's unprivileged drinking six dusters for the hood. Uh, we out of here. Ran nephew safe. Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sit, my man rolling. I'm privileged drinking, baby. All the ladies call your girls, all my niggas call you guys. Fall in line, they ain't got no plans, you can tell them to slide. I'm feast the beast, they told you otherwise, them suckers lie. Can't nobody do it like me, I'm seasoned like checker fries. What's the vibe? You know what it is when we come inside. This weather feeling good, looking nice like the summertime. Just get together, we call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be sorry you ain't here. Light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red. You got me some good game, yeah, I talk it up in here. This the one, they say they like it, play it back, it got a hype, but I'm excited. Never tired, just keep it going with fire. Keep it going.